in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you Her graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed I want you to pray one last prayer and then we'll sit. The word must walk in my life. Listen, listen, hold on. The Bible said the seed is the word of God. It was sown in three different kinds of soils. It was sown, but not all of them had a harvest. Why? Because between the seed time and harvest, an enemy came. He didn't do anything to the soil. He only did something to the seed. I'd like you to declare the problem is never the seed. I command the soil of my spirit. You must receive seed and it must yield a harvest. Lift your voice and pray. A harvest whose profiting will appear unto all. Are you praying? Please don't be distracted. Pray, pray. Don't look around. Pray. I speak to the soil of my spirit. You receive the word of God and you yield a hundredfold. I declare you receive the word of God and you yield a hundredfold. You receive the word of God. We release the sound of the heavens, the sound of creation, Yahweh. I release the sound of the heavens, sound of creation, Yahweh is here. I release the sound of the heavens, the sound of creation, Yahweh is here. I cry holy, holy, holy unto Yeshua. I sing holy, holy, holy unto Yeshua. be seated Holy Spirit we have come before you tonight we cry for understanding there is nothing we can know except you open up our understanding Lord I pray for those here and the thousands of people around the nations of the earth following I pray that your word will prevail in a mighty way tonight for your suit it's like
not looking for your tie. All that is nonsense. What will he do with your suit and your tie? He's not even looking for your destiny. He knows that anything minus the word is equal to nothing. For nothing was made that was not made by him. Are we together now? The Bible says in the beginning, listen carefully. It didn't say in the beginning was a formula. In the beginning was the word. And that word was with God. And that word was God. He said he was with God in the beginning. Then he says through him all things were made. And he says nothing including a destiny. Nothing was made that was not by him. So Satan knows that the making factor in men's lives is the word. So when he comes to this gentleman, he doesn't have any business with your tie or whatever. He looks for where the word is. And the Bible says, Satan cometh immediately. If Satan steals the word from you, you will pass him and he will pass you. He has no business with you again. It is the one thing that he will seek and fight for. Show me a man, my brothers and my sisters, listen very carefully. No matter what Satan has done in your life, if the word of God can come upon you, if the word of God can be understood and received and diligently applied with faith, you will make nonsense out of the devil. It's only a matter of time. Is someone getting what I'm saying? Because you see, we have to be careful. Church people right now don't grow again because we are used to the religious activity of the world we come and sit down and our bibles we are writing notes that can change our lives but there is a demon of religion sitting on people many people have written their miracles in their jota and yet they remain in bondage many have written the formula for their lifting and yet it looks like heavens are closed many have written the formula for their prosperity many have written the formula that will wipe the tears of their family the bible says ever learning but never coming to the knowledge of the truth so don't get used to religion oh it's time for the word oh yeah let's judge acts chapter this we write if it's a nice word you say mm preach preacher and all those kinds of things we share the grace and people go back and nothing changes let me tell you religion is a demon it's not just a wrong philosophy i believe there is a spirit of religion that makes people hang around god but never benefit from him are we together now yes you can get so used to the i invited sister a i invited brother b and you sit down and don't get blessed yourself or i am a worker you can be standing behind the mic singing when i raise a song and the revelation that can transform your destiny comes and you sing it out of your life while you are not listening and focusing so we have to be sensitive my brothers and my sisters god is not a magician there is an exact way men are raised in this kingdom. Can you cry in one minute again and say, I cause distraction from my life. Lord, whatever it is that makes that I do not understand. You can imagine how brilliant people are, but the moment the word comes, they become unfruitful to it. That means it's an attack. I don't believe anybody here is dull. Some of us, academically speaking, we are very sound people. But the moment it comes to the issue of the word, there is an attack. Please pray. Please pray. Please pray. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. This kingdom life that we are living is a supernatural life. And it's a life that will continue to call for contention. That is the reason why you can finish an encyclopedia but not be able to read 100 pages from your Bible. What is so difficult about this thing that you cannot read is because there is a spirit behind it. I can give you a novel that is twice this page and some of you will finish it in one week and you don't have time. It's not that you sit down and you will keep reading and within one week you are done but you pick this to read and see what happens you will it will be a miracle if you cross 10 pages of this doesn't matter what part 
that means there is a spirit that opens this for you it's amazing how you can sit down and open your bible and open side by side with even a christian book and you would rather read the christian book nothing is wrong with it you are reading it but just to sit and read this one raw every demon from hell will fight you because this word you see let me tell you whether you understand what he's saying or not the moment your eyes make contact with this word something starts happening to your spirit and that's the reason why when the word of god is about being taught somebody who already slept in the afternoon the spirit of slumber just comes on the person you see that as soon as the service is over he can stand behind a car and discuss politics for two hours so it was never about tiredness it was about an attack on the word you heard the testimony of the dear lady here she came and sat down as soon as praise and worship was over the fire from the praise and worship made those spirits you see evil spirits are real please let's 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 not fool ourselves let us know this world we live in we are not alone are we together that you sit down from the start to the finish of a service is a miracle it's a sign that god is doing something in your life you see people you see what happens during miracle service the moment prayers are about to offer you want to ease yourself you want to do something ah, i feel uncomfortable it's a lie it's an agitation these spirits are seeing beyond dimensions that your eyes can see so they know what is happening in the realm of the spirit as the power of god is about to be released and they will cause every discomfort some of you who drag people here to come and repent notice how well behaved they are as soon as the praise and worship starts they just say I, I, i'm tired i want to go it's a lie they are not tired the spirit that needs to be casted out you see that let me tell you my brothers and my sisters if someone invites you here and you ever get to this ground or connect it's a sign that your miracle has started because the kind of attack you try it one day and you will see that somebody who would ordinarily give you money will say sorry i don't have any money for anything just to leave kaduna and come it's an attack are we together now but you have a responsibility to refuse the will of man is respected even by demons yes sir if god respects your will then every other force on earth must respect your will if they usurp your will they manipulated you in a way that allowed them to find expression i set before you life and death i set before you blessing and cursing i can't force you i can only advise you choose life you don't choose life just by verbalizing it you choose life by paying the price to sit down and do the things that minister life are we together help us tonight holy spirit in the name of jesus some of you here need to go on a project just gather strategic koinonia messages that relate to certain areas in your life the media will be more than glad to help you are we together you put these teachings together and you go on a word fast let me tell you what that means you will eat there are many kinds of fasting most people only know the one that you suspend eating for 12 hours or some days but there is a way you can go on a movie fast that means you off every movie you can go on a phone fast off your phone it's, it's a way of fasting are we together and then you can have time for the word that the only thing your ear hears for a whole day is a message not somebody calling you ah how are you mm -mm. the only thing that you hear aside from bikes driving themselves out is the word of god you sit down and say lord my life must change what is the key you hear one message you hear part of the key it can be a message you've always had but now because you are giving god your attention fire comes from heaven and that's it you catch something you will come out of that place knowing that i've gotten this when you say it, they will laugh at you until the results bail you out please give your destiny time you heard what the dear lady said? 
wonderful lady by the way i'm busy nobody is busy it's a lie we are looking for something nobody is busy if you're on your way going to Kaduna this night and i say hold on somebody wants to give you one million are you busy talk to me no so the idea of being busy means i have not yet come to an understanding that the word of god is profitable so please let me leave it aside while i look for the things that look profitable nobody leaves what gives you profit so if you do not have time for the word it's a revelation it's a sign that in your dealings with god you have not been quickened to a point where you have seen the value and the profitability of the word of god so you can throw away the word of god and watch film i'm, I'm not please don't get me wrong i'm not against movies but i'm telling you there is a devil out there that is demeaning the power of the word of god and we choke all kinds of things in our heads and we teach spirits come create fortifications and then this is what we say because we believe that just hanging around the word of god will produce result we will get angry and say i've done everything i know to do you see that i've done everything i prayed every prayer i attended this i even fasted god is unfair it's not true everybody that gives god time must get something from him if you give me time your life will never be the same give satan time your life will never be the same one of the reasons why we never see his outstretched arm is because we don't give god time i'm busy i'm too busy i'm, I'm busy it's demonic my soul wait thou upon the lord because my brothers and my sisters all that we are looking for one visitation from god can give you something that in a lifetime you may never get preacher say it but it is true i will search for you and i will find you and i will find you with all my heart I will lift my hands to you in worship and I will worship with all my heart. We will search for you and we will find you. We will find you with all our heart. We will live our hands to you in worship and we will worship with all our heart one more time let me just sing the song that i will search for you and i will find you i will find you with all my heart and i will leave my voice to you in worship I will worship with all my heart I want you to sit quietly tonight and listen to what I want to teach you sit with your soul your spirit your ears and listen God knows ask him that I love you with all my heart. My philosophy of leadership is that you are a failed leader until the people you lead become exceptionally successful by every standard. Are we together now? So it doesn't matter whether it's a revelation yet to me. I must insist until it speaks in your life. Because you see, the Bible says wisdom is justified by her children. By her children. Genesis chapter 2. Genesis chapter 2. Blessed be the name of the Lord. For those of you worshiping for the first time, God bless you. We we'll honor you at the end of the service. For now, let's get to the word of God. Genesis chapter 2. Verse 15. 
Genesis 2 verse 15 Genesis 2 verse 15 what is this that I see I command that spirit to live now I command the Lord just showed me something I command that spirit you just allow me to do my madness I command that spirit you must let this family go now I command that spirit you must let this family go now the Bible says now the Lord is that spirit he says and where the spirit of the Lord is the same I'm seeing two people to overflow one I command that spirit to go now you are living right now this chain that has held this family is time for them to testify I command that spirit to live in the name of Jesus Christ I command that spirit to bleed. There is still one more person. The Lord is not allowing me to continue. In the name of Jesus, I command that spirit to leave. You have to go. This is Mount Zion. You know, one of the things that happens, let me teach you something. Do you know when God opens your eyes in the spirit, you will be able to know when, let me tell you what happens. When God opens my eyes now in the spirit, I will not only see an individual sitting, I will also see the spirits connected to them. You see? Yes. And usually, because the eye is the light of the body, once there is that contact, there is an agitation in the realm of the spirit and that's why sometimes someone can just be looking quietly and start shouting the individual doesn't know what just transacted in the realm of the spirit remember the demons looked at jesus and they saw the body of a 33 year old young man but when they looked they said ah no are you not and jesus said keep quiet so you can see beyond just an individual sitting that's what just happened now you'll be surprised now these people will come and testify and tell you for 10 years nobody has risen in our family and that's it genesis chapter 2 and verse 15 please follow me carefully let's see how god will grant us grace to make progress and the lord god took the man and put him into the garden of eden to dress and to keep it 16 and the Lord God commanded the man saying listen of every tree of the garden thou mayest freely eat 17 but of the tree of the knowledge the tree of the knowledge not a knowledge the tree of the knowledge of good and evil shall thou not eat for in the day that you eatest thereof you will die now listen carefully jesus is giving a disclaimer here he's giving man access to the garden are we together now and he's giving man a disclaimer that in this garden there are many trees i give you access to partake the word eat there doesn't just mean eat alone it means to partake of the benefits that come with that privilege he says that there is a kind of tree that he forbids it's amazing that even the tree that is forbidden has good now listen carefully the tree has what yet is part of the forbidden tree so he says this tree doesn't have evil alone there are many good things that can come from this tree yet there is a reason why i forbid you from partaking and this is the reason that the day you eat that tree regardless of the good it carries that day you will die look up the day man ate of this did he die in as much as we know death adam did not die eve did not die that means he was talking about something else. In the day, not in the month. Remember until this time he had created time and seasons. 
so he says in the day the moment you partake this death starts for you listen carefully and then in spite of the fact that it comes with good notice the marketing system of the tree it projects good first then evil not evil and good the character of this tree is such that when you come you will never know there is evil on it the system is good and evil even god acknowledges that the tree had good are we together now Genesis chapter 3. We'll read from verse 1. Let's see to verse 7 very quickly. And then we'll have a very serious discussion tonight and pray. The Lord is giving us wisdom. Verse 1. Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. And he said unto the woman. Listen, Satan is talking now. Yea, had God said... Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden. Verse 2. And the woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden. Verse 3. But the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden. Because the woman was not there when God was telling the man, This tree has good and evil. Adam just told her that this is a tree in the midst of the garden. And so she's replying Satan now. God had said, Ye shall not eat neither shall ye touch lest ye die for and the serpent said to the woman ye shall not surely die for god doth know so we're talking of knowledge here remember now the tree of the knowledge the tree of the knowledge there is knowledge in the tree the central thing there is knowledge not fruit knowledge the tree of the knowledge are we together now if you have the tree of the knowledge of banana that tree will not when you eat banana from that tree it teaches you something the tree is a lecturer the fruit in the tree can teach men certain things are you getting what i'm saying now and now he's saying that god knows that in the day remember all of this will happen in a day both the dead and this that you eat thereof the first thing is that your eyes shall be opened that means a kind of illumination will come to you and then ye shall be as what as gods knowing good and evil wow that means one characteristic feature between gods is that they have a supply of knowledge and the power to use that knowledge to produce good to produce evil are we together now that whoever can manipulate knowledge and bring an outcome of good and manipulate knowledge and bring an outcome of evil is no longer a man he didn't say he is the God of heaven, but he said this one is not man. Are you getting the discussion now? Knowing good and evil. Verse 6. And when the woman saw that the tree was what? Now notice she didn't see anything evil again. The tree is walking now. This is how the tree walks. What did the woman see? Good for food. And it was pleasant to the eyes and the tree desired to make one wise what kind of wisdom we don't know but we know that there is wisdom in the tree she took of the fruit thereof and did eat and gave unto her husband with her and he did eat you see that Adam was there with her next verse and truly like Satan said the eyes of them both were what open so he didn't entirely lie he said this tree can open your eyes but he didn't say what that open eye will do and so their eyes were open and they knew that they were naked and they sowed fig leaves and all of that and all of that now when you read all the drama that happened 
when God came down and said, man, what is happening? He said, this woman, blah, blah, blah. Just let's go to verse 11. I'll read just verse 11 and then I'll begin to teach. And he said, who told you that you were naked? Then he said, hast thou? Because this knowledge, you should not have gotten it. There is no way as a man without an assistance, your knowledge is limited. Although you are a man without sin, this should not be given to you. Then he says, have you eaten of the tree? And he says, I commanded you not to eat. You read on and he said, the woman you put, the woman said the serpent, and he was angry and began to curse them. But something interesting happened. He said, man has become like one of us. Just follow me. Man has become like one of us. I thought the Bible says he created man image and after his likeness. Now God is saying something is wrong. Man has become like one of us. And for that, we will not allow him in this state to eat of the tree of life again. Because if he takes of the tree of life, you know, the tree of life was designed to keep you living in whatever state you are. So now that this guy's, the whole plan has been corrupted, if we allow him to eat of the tree of life, then redemption will no longer be possible. So let's drive him out so that it can be possible to redeem this man. Are we together now? Please sit down. Right from Genesis, we see that there is a fight for knowledge. The Bible tells us that the first tree, listen carefully, the first tree was not called the tree of the knowledge of life. It was called the tree of life. But the second tree works by giving men information that it supplies you an information that gives your life good but with it eventually it destroys you are we together now jesus there is a tree of the knowledge of good and evil that is interwoven in this system this cosmos that we live in please listen very carefully many people like Eve have not received the miracle of understanding to discern that the trees that they continue to partake of are poisonous trees that are ministering death to their destinies and death to their lives and so my exhortation really tonight is a wake-up call to open your eyes to something very deep about the destruction that is happening to many people that they do not know they continue to die daily not as paul said by their continual connection with this tree and that you will never be able to do much for the kingdom until you understand this in the name of Jesus Christ. I look at lives today. As a man of God, I look at people's destinies and I see certain results in their lives that I wonder how those kinds of results would have been produced. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Yes. I know that these results are a product of of a philosophy a product of an ideology that has been sold by a system that has been sold by a sociological context that does not honor God nor have regard for the ways of God are we together now remember the tree of life based the tree of the knowledge of good and evil the Bible tells us it is very tempting when the woman saw it there was an attraction are we together now? Many people's lives today have become a mess and has become complicated. I am almost afraid when I look at our society today and look at the level of confusion, the level of aimlessness that surrounds the lives of people. People are almost clueless about everything in life. The young and the old alike, 
the rich and the poor alike and we do not know the source of this confusion I want to show you tonight if I can successfully show you and we pray my assignment tonight has been fulfilled are we together Colossians chapter 2 blessed be the name of the Lord we'll read verse 8 Colossians chapter 2 and verse 8 read with me please look up one to read beware lest any man spoil you through what philosophy uh -huh. and vain deceit after the traditions of men here's my key point and after the methodology the modus operandi the system of this world the greek word here is aeon an age and a mindset that is brought with that age that do not let the word spoil there is plunder take advantage of do not let any man take advantage of you through philosophy through vain deceit through the traditions of men after the methodology there is a system that this world operates listen carefully there is a way and manner that has been sold humanity as a race have been scammed by a system a system that has advocated a way of life and a template of living and the bible says that compared to god's standard that template is wrong now but it's very difficult because the character of that tree is that it has good and we live in a society where we are governed by results which is an advantage for satan because then he can project the good that comes with that system and with it he can buy the loyalty of people by the time you can prove to me that a method is working regardless of the side effects are we together now we have products right now that are 60 percent um 60 percent potent in their result and we believe that those products are enough and we sell them so we live in a world where once there is an evidence that something works we package it and we go mainstream and we market it to people but we do not know that that good the bible says that on that is a strategy that satan projects the good in every evil thing no evil thing comes as evil even satan comes as an angel of light are you getting me now so the character of evil is such that it projects the good first so that you are baited by that good like you dangle a worm attempting to catch a fish and the fish comes hoping to eat the worm not knowing that there is a hook behind are we together now and then that fish is caught up by the hook that don't let any man spoil you there is a philosophy in this world there is a philosophy in this age that when men subscribe to the bible says the side effect is that it is as though an armed bandit came to your house and plundered you the confusion that is in people's lives today on almost every subject matter is a call for concern that we must get back to understanding the disaster that is encapsulated in the tree of the knowledge of good and evil now society may not agree government may not agree because there are statistics to show that the tree has good are we together now so when you tell somebody come my dear when you tell someone um give your life to jesus and throw away some of the herbal things that were used in your village this lady will prove to you how that herbal medicine healed five people are you getting what i'm saying now everybody say good shout it again say good and the lady will tell you she's on five points now because they said any time is time for exam rob that thing before you go to the exam hall and my goodness did it work so now that lady will not listen to your proposition to say i should throw it is it just because it has a little side effect 
the benefits outweigh the side effects you will say the same way you say salt one pinch of salt cannot affect a whole you know bowl of soup you don't put the same size of vegetables as you do the salt yet sometimes just for putting a little more you can completely ruin that soup that's how evil is evil does not have to be the same size with good it just has to be present sufficient enough to create an effect are you getting me now you are not the only one who is salt evil too is salt are you getting what i'm saying you are not the only one who is salt evil too is salt that's why the bible says, a little living a little not much a little please follow me very carefully this lady now can serve god but she will hold on to her charms because if the charms were 100 percent failed she would throw it obviously the devil knows nobody ever working with the devil has 100 percent evil no he doesn't work that way he's smart enough to know ask an ambroba why he's still stealing he will tell you the last stealing my god we had 11 million and that 11 million changed our life i even gave tight it looks good ask him now to stop stealing the memory of the 11 million will make sure he goes back to steal are you getting what i'm saying now evil blatantly will usually drive you away but the good component in it is what will give you the same power to remain so the bible says do not eat of that tree of good and evil there are philosophies my brothers and my sisters listen carefully there are mindsets there are belief systems that we have adopted that come with this age the bible tells us they are traceable to a tree they are traceable to a root that markets good to men and at the end destroys them thank you my dear the bible tells us again that this system that we live in has something called the wisdom of this age the wisdom of this age first corinthians chapter 2 i'm just trying to gather my scriptures before i begin to build you will be so blessed first corinthians chapter 2 paul is teaching the church in corinth and here's what he says first corinthians chapter 2 verse 6 how be it we speak wisdom among them that are perfect and so you are not confused paul now begins to distinguish what that wisdom is that kind he says yet not the wisdom of that means this world has its own kind of wisdom wisdom by its character produces results it doesn't matter what kind of wisdom are we together now but the bible is saying there is wisdom that is not the wisdom of god it is the wisdom of this world there is even the wisdom that is the wisdom of the princes of this world hmm. but the bible says all of them come to naught what does that mean that means the end of them is death is destruction the wisdom of this world the wisdom of the princes of this world that we pride ourselves in that we build the entire philosophy of our lives the bible says that wisdom whoever walks with that dimension of knowledge doom and destruction is inevitable look at me please most of the issues in our world today are only symptoms of a bigger problem are we together most of the issues in our world today the issues that we face that we we believe are the issues that are depriving man and mankind from his dignity most of them are only symptoms of a bigger issue 
The same way someone can have headache and a doctor can say, no, this is not headache, it is malaria. The headache is a symptom of something. Meaning if you take Panadol, it may give you a temporary relief, but you are not going to be healed from that malaria until you are properly treated. We spend our time addressing symptoms. We write books about symptoms. Listen carefully. We hold conferences on symptoms and very few people are willing to go to the root and deal with the foundation that brings about this, this tragic problem of mankind. The ideas of this world have made our lives complicated. The life of the average person living in today's world is as complicated as a gadget this wisdom we have adopted like a virus they have created a web of complication they have robbed us of the simplicity of life destroyed everything about us family life has been broken down to nonsense the dignity of responsibility has been broken down to nonsense. Meritocracy, godliness, all of these virtues that build up society and advance men, they had been attacked for many years and now we are seeing the effect. We have enjoyed the good of that tree for a long time and right now people are beginning to see the evil. You are trying to run away but the tree said you received all of me. You received the advancement that I gave you you received the technology that i gave you are we together now you received all of the enlightenment that i gave you now the other side of the equation is opening up and the war the crime the decadence and people are saying what kind of world are we in not knowing that is a fruit we ate and now we are paying for everything and let me tell you my brothers and my sisters that trees continue to dangle every day if we keep eating of that tree it will not only kill us it will kill our children and our children's children we have been so sucked into this system we do not even know we are in deception you can be so deceived and misled that you are not even aware that is deception under development security issues marital issues financial issues joblessness all of these things are symptoms of subscribing to a philosophy and a way of life that is antichrist and not built on life that tree of life and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil it was just a diplomatic way to say the tree of life and a tree of death because the end of it is death. There is a way that cement right to a man. He says, but the end thereof are the ways of death. As I counsel people, I am coming to the conclusion that if we do not re-examine our philosophies, there is no hope. This issue is bigger than counseling. This issue is bigger than laying on of hands. This issue is bigger than a church service or a conference this is a deception that is institutional and it will take people who understand the holy spirit listen carefully people who understand the ways of god to summon the courage to say no something is wrong my grandfather followed this way my father followed this way now a system is forcing me to follow that way and you turn and say no way and receive the courage to fight to victory the contentions that will come by your refusal to eat of that tree write this down the world system that advocates this tree of good and evil thrives on three major things the world system that means the antichrist system of operation unfortunately that our society is built upon thrives on three things number one on godliness on godliness 
today's world our civilization today is against godliness let me explain to you what that means that means to do well in today's world it is mandatory you must act like there's no god are you getting what i'm saying now if you want to do well in today's world you have to indoctrinate yourself and culture yourself into acting as though god does not exist and the world today will applaud you that means that this babylonian system this tree of the knowledge of good and evil is strangling away god consciousness from all of us and from the fabric of society the world system thrives on godlessness that means that the more you are aligned to this world it will make you in a way and manner that you do not see value for god again by destroying every christian monument in schools for instance that can help men be aware are we together now all those things are strategies to make sure that our children the same way this little boy now does not know what a typewriter looks like that is the same way one day people will not know anything about god you will say in the beginning was the word they said is that a novel they say what do you mean is that a novel that's king james they say well i'm not aware of what you are saying that is the goal of this system that a day will come when when you say bible study it's like you are telling a child lemonade and he says what is that what is bible sir i don't know what bible is and you say it's a book that contains the words of god he said who is god we will get there if a church does if the church does not rise and listen to what i'm telling you today you have a program on tv you mention jesus or mention god they edit it but they can leave explicit words in movies even for children don't mind that rating thing they write that means something is wrong and the church is watching and we do not understand that we are being forced to eat from the tree that contains good and evil ungodliness right now this is not this is not a generation of ignorance again satan has stopped using ignorance as a strategy this generation is too enlightened to entertain ignorance so he has started marketing this good and evil it's difficult to keep someone ignorant now because this is an inquisitive generation they want to know and so satan says instead of hiding the knowledge let's not hide it again let us corrupt it and market it so knowledge is available and affordable but largely let me tell you my brothers and my sisters over 70 percent of the information that mold and make the mind of people is a babylonian information that contains good and evil are we together you hear what they teach your children in school on one side you are happy that the children are learning biology but on the other side you know you are in trouble because good and evil and you get what i'm saying now yes ungodliness we have to preserve god consciousness and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil will never never preserve god consciousness when i was growing up 90 percent of our discussions were around school and god that was it right now the average young child the average teenager will talk about applications apps almost a thousand times before anything spiritual will be mentioned not god most young people are now spiritual and are now sociological not spiritual they are doing everything that's why they are promoting all the human activities that neutralize god consciousness like sports like music these are platforms that um that is 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 is, is very very is very very civil and so it doesn't allow the things of god are you getting what i'm saying now it's a strategy and god is waking us up on godliness number two
these three of the knowledge of good and evil that makes up the world system operates by distorting spiritual patterns write it down this system operates by distorting spiritual patterns is one of the most dangerous effects of this wisdom of the world it distorts spiritual patterns I want you to listen carefully Isaiah chapter 5 we'll read from verse 20 to 24 Isaiah 5 20 read with me we're reading from 20 to 24 one to read woe to them that call evil good talk to me and good evil that put darkness for light uh-huh and light for darkness that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter what kind of a generation is this that replaces everything is an overhaul nothing was spared if it is good this society calls it evil if it is light they call it darkness if it is sweet they call it bitter verse 22 21 woe to them that are wise in their own eyes and prudent in their own sight uh-huh woe to them that are mighty to drink wine and men of strength to mingle strong drink 23 we justify the wicked for reward and take away the righteousness of the righteous from him do you know what this means that means they force you through their life and they compel you to bend until you are out of God's pattern he said they take away the righteousness of the righteous from him so you send your child to school as a responsible young boy from a Christian family and a system has been built by the time that boy is three years in that school it has taken away the righteousness from the righteous Four. next verse therefore as fire devoured the stubble and flame consumed the chaff so shall their root be as rottenness and their blossom shall go up as dust notice that they once blossom but the bible said it will go up as dust because they have cast away the law of the lord of hosts and despise the word of the holy one of israel in god's design and in his dealings with men he always creates patterns listen carefully god's patterns are his methodology his way of achieving his will it is not enough to obey god we must understand his pattern there is a pattern for wealth and finance in the kingdom there is a pattern for marriage in the kingdom there is a pattern for ministry there is a pattern for success but now we have a system that is forcing an ideology and even upon believers that makes us to violate patterns are we together now one of our dear ladies here she may be following online i think a few a few maybe about a month ago she left for the u.s and when she got to the u.s i think it was just like a few days or a week she just called me and I know there are people from US following so I, I, I don't mean to insult any culture but she told me that apostle there's, there's something wrong she said my roommates are all lesbians and there is a problem if I'm not mistaken I hope I'm right because she said it's like they are supposed to be believers and now she has to relate with them because there is not like here just for showing any sign of um, discrimination as it were they can sue you and of course if you are not, not a citizen of that nation they can take you out immediately and this lady was confused completely confused and saying what is all this I come from a place in Zaria where even the person who is not doing well can be a pastor somewhere else and now I'm faced with roommates that are vocally part of a system let me tell you i don't mean to insult anyone but i told you most of those things are symptoms of a problem 
the problem is that we have deviated from God's pattern are you getting what I'm saying now yes the divorce rate in marriages is something that is scary including Christian marriages one out of every two marriages will not last 10 years now please don't feel bad if anything has happened to your marriage I'm teaching here are you getting what I'm saying do you know why because two of you come husband and wife people have created their own patterns call good evil and evil good it was God who defined how marriage works society has now mentored people into creating their own laws about marriage is it not arrogant for you to come and meet something and not consult the person who created it and change the laws it's like coming to my house and meet my tap running and I come back and see that you've rewired the tap to the back of the house. By what authority did you do this? In my house. So we have done it in ways that we cannot imagine. In my, my laptop, I have the photo of a woman who married Sardine. Big Sardine, not the small one you use. Yes, sir yes sir are we together side by side you see them there I have it in my laptop now let me tell you this believers we are civilized people I'm not I'm not those kind of people that will teach you to not, not no 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 but I'm saying something is wrong we have to admit that something is wrong are we together now these people have their ideas they have money, they have everything, yet the marriage does not work. And they are wondering. Because everybody, the Babylonian system has indoctrinated this lady. You are not under any man, you are a lady, you are, you know, you are a wonderful person. Don't let any man look down on you. Society is, these men are looking down on women, this and that. And the lady says, yes, if it's because of your money, I will get my own job. I will buy my own car. I can be lord of myself. If you drive me, I can go and get my three-bedroom flat. We think it's a nice thing. Because if a lady proposes this in the world, they clap for you. They stand up and wave their hands. And God sits on his throne and says, this is not what I designed. What are you designing like this? Already as I'm saying it, you see how surprised me. How many of you have been sucked into it? As I'm saying it now, it's paining you. Which is a sign that God is delivering you. Because already... You can see how the thing has sucked us. And then the men, we have our own. We are even the ones that are more sucked into this thing. Because we need money, we need to provide. And we have deviated from God's pattern completely. Right now, respect in marriage is based on who is richer. Not what God said. I'm working, I'm earning 30,000. You are earning 10,000. You are not worth my respect society says yes one one life coach somewhere who is not born again has never read the bible is now writing books and pushing it to the church because they know we buy everything are we together yes something is wrong a distortion of patterns let me tell you why patterns are important because patterns forerun the glory when patterns are violated, the glory will never be seen. Never be seen. There are ways today, my brothers and my sisters, I don't say this in any sarcastic way, but there are ways. Go for pastors' conferences and see how they teach men to raise money to run churches. You will be amazed and you will be surprised because there is a pattern. A Babylonian system is marketing a strategy. Remember that the ark of God was supposed to be carried by a formula. A man decided to invent a system to say, let's, let's make it easier for men. And that man died. What did he do that was wrong? He only changed patterns. It was violation of pattern that made a man lose his throne, Saul in the Bible. It was not in his office to offer sacrifices. But because Samuel was wasting time and the people started putting pressure on Saul. Saul said, what nonsense is this priesthood thing? 
get me everything let me offer sacrifices as soon as he offered sacrifices samuel came and said what have you done he said you have done foolishly you would have allowed me to come and do this and god would have established your throne forever but now that you have done this your throne is taken away from you and samuel tried to weep and cry and god who is full of mercy said how long will you weep seeing that i've rejected saul as king in other words this guy is out of my program god your god every time the reason why we never see the glory of god in our churches we never see the glory of god in our families could it be that we are there eating of the tree of the knowledge of the of good and evil and is indoctrinating us to act and believe in ways that are violating god's pattern Gideon began to cry and told the angel he said why do we not see the miracles that our fathers told us and he began to tell Gideon there are idols there are things to be destroyed when it was time for Elijah to command fire from heaven he didn't just say fire come he said set me 12 altars there is a pattern set me 12 altars put water on it put this and fire came Cain and Abel offered sacrifices. One was accepted. One was rejected. God is not only the God of the heavens. He's a God of patterns. God looks at how you did it. Not just that you did it. Hmm. Patterns. Thank you, Martin. Exodus chapter 25. We'll read verse 9 and then we'll read verse 20. Very quickly, please. God is taking us somewhere tonight. According to all that I showed thee, listen, after the pattern of the tabernacle, this was the building of the tabernacle in the wilderness, and God was instructing Moses that according to all that I showed you, after the pattern of the tabernacle and the pattern of all the instruments thereof, so shall thou make it in other words it was not moses's idea a blueprint was given his assignment was to replicate it there are many things see in your dealing with god you will not need too much of creativity you will need obedience it is when you are executing his will on earth that you will need in your dealing with god there are few things that will be your idea I know we don't like this how you know you are working with God is that a major part of your dealing is yes sir yes sir when it becomes in my opinion that's not God you are working with hmm. creativity is not for the secret place creativity is a system of dominion you don't bring creativity when you are in the secret place it is obedience it is your heart opening to say lord not my will but your will be done exodus 25 25 verse 40 and look that thou make them after what their pattern which was shown you not which you guessed not which you guessed a pattern was shown you make sure that you make it after their pattern very quickly give us chapter 40 and verse 16 40 and verse 16 I'm showing you that God is a God of patterns 40 and verse 16 read with me please one to read thus did Moses uh -huh, according to all that the Lord commanded him go to verse 33 we are reading now verse 33 to 35 he says and he read up the court he's about to finish now listen carefully round about the tabernacle and the altar and set up the hanging of the court gate read the last sentence everyone one to go so moses finished the work he finished everything according to pattern next verse and then a cloud covered the tent of the congregation God supervised until he followed the patterns to the dot. When Moses finished the work, he said, God, I finished. God said, I'm ready to come. The cloud covered the tent of the congregation and the glory of God filled the tabernacle. Next verse. And Moses was not able to enter into the tent of the congregation. Why? Because the cloud abode thereon 
and the glory of God fill it. If the glory of God is not upon your church, could there be an explanation that something in the building or the system of that church is disaligned with divine patterns? Because if it is built according to pattern, the glory of God is like a stamp you obeyed to the latter. If I look at your family and I do not see the glory of God, there is a pattern that you are not following. Are we together now? I can look at your family and I see chaos here and there. Husband beating wife, wife beating husband, I must kill you. I tell you, someone is violating patterns. If both people walk with divine patterns, there will be glory. That means the glory of God is also a confirmation that his patterns have been duly followed. Every time you finish that which you do, it's important to look around and find out where is the glory of God in it as proof that this was done according to pattern. Could it be that the joblessness that is plaguing young people in Nigeria, could it be the reason why many of us are languishing in certain intense levels of hardship? We may be well-meaning, but could it be that we are violating divine patterns? Everybody say patterns. Say it again. Say patterns. So the tree of the knowledge of good and evil causes you to be distorted from God's pattern. There is a way God designed that marriage happens. If you have to go on Facebook and WhatsApp to start doing this, you may get a beast who is first a man before he becomes a beast which is consistent with the way that tree works is first good before evil so you meet somebody on facebook and he says i'll go and see your parents you are the lily of the valley are we together now and that person later becomes the beast of your destiny why because patterns God designed marriage, come please, to be one man and one woman. Don't feel bad. By the time this guy says one woman is not enough and brings another woman, everybody say patterns. Patterns start fighting from the realm of the spirit because the way God designed this thing is such that one woman, the woman has to be alone for you to see the best of her in marriage. By the time it is now two, or 10 or 5 something must go wrong it doesn't matter what they sign patterns have been distorted are we together when a man of 50 years old is writing wayek everybody say patterns have been distorted now listen i'm not i'm not being sarcastic i'm saying that it is usual for that man to not concentrate he is not supposed to be that alert and focused just like that because that longevity of time has accommodated too many things that are more serious than the subject matter so it is good that a young man bear his yoke in his youth lamentation chapter 3 that god says young men walk your walks while it is day night will come when you cannot walk is a pattern starting early in life is a pattern that's why when the spirit of delay comes upon a family it makes sure that the first person is in is writing ssc at 25 it's not about delay satan is doing everything to make you go out of pattern it is why god in his mercy introduced a mystery called restoration are you seeing that now restoration is doing something to your life to bring you back in pattern when a woman has been barren and she's 60 years old with no child the devil knows that according to the normal course of life there will be a problem giving birth or at least giving birth to a very healthy child are you seeing that now satan knows that God is a God of patterns and so he 
supplies us knowledge that makes us to be and act in ways that continue to be defiant to God's pattern because his advantage in our life is that when we are out of pattern he doesn't need to pray against us the glory was designed to locate patterns and confirm it is God speaking to us I'd like you to look at your family as you are sitting down and suddenly realize that could this be why we never saw the hand of God in our family we were Christians oh my father my mother loved God served God with all his and her heart Lord why is this family this way why are we not seeing your glory I'm showing you we are eating of a tree and the more we keep eating of that tree every time the glory comes to your house it cannot rest and the glory continues to search for a resting place and sometimes it will wait for one full generation until you arrive that's why some of you are standing up to say Lord that glory must rest that glory has been hovering around my family since 1951 and nobody has aligned enough to allow that glory come Lord see he said Lord and now arise oh Lord he said come to your resting place until then God said I don't have a place to rest and Solomon said no way we have to make for you make for you a place I can tell you I understand a bit about the glory of God I know why many people do not experience the glory there are spiritual patterns. Babylon. You eat of that tree. Notice what happened to Adam. As soon as they ate of the tree, what happened? The glory lifted. It was the glory that covered them. They didn't even know whether they were naked or not. They didn't need clothes because the Shekinah of God covered them. As soon as they ate of that tree, imagine that every day you are eating of that tree think of what is happening to your life and think of what you are programming for your children's children already so every time our fathers kept bowing in that shrine they thought they were just paying homage but something Ichabod the glory continued to move back and back and back and back and back by the time you came to the scene there was no glory again 11 ladies beautiful ladies no man to marry them 13 ladies no child let me tell you my brothers and my sisters it's not just about prayer when we return to the pattern is with a rush the glory will come when Moses finished not when he started God kept watching finish it and let my glory come you know from my paternal side i never saw any blessed person i think the most blessed person was my dad and it's not like he was any blessing i said what kind of course is this how can you be so hard working and love god my father was a very honest man loved god but i i said no no someone has to be angry all this night and say no my family has been eating from a tree eating from the tree can mean bowing to an idol eating from the tree can be an indoctrination that your salary is where your wealth is you think it's a nice statement but it's something that has been sold to you so when you hear things like all blessings come from god they only pass through men it's an ideology that fights everything you've been taught about job oh the boss say i can waste your life now and you say sir it's true ah, and the psalmist say i lift up my eyes to the hills i'm not confused i know where my help comes from who is an arrogant man born of a woman that sits on a chair and says he will frustrate you when there is God an average man of God has been taught now that there are things that if they are not in your church members will not come please don't get me wrong I know if there's any man of God phoning, I'm, I'm an excellent person. But right now, we are doing a lot of nonsense that will not help us see the glory of God. Nonsense. Members can drink tea, they can eat rice, they can eat yam and go. Because there is a pattern. And I, if I be lifted, that's the pattern. I will 
Paul may plant, Apollos may water, but it's not given to men to bring increase. Increase is a mystery that only the Lord of the harvest knows the formula. You say something now, people insult you and say you are arrogant, but the result is not showing. I want you tonight to start thinking the convictions that I hold, where did it come from? Where did it come from? There are many well-behaved ladies in this place. You started very well with God until you read a book. Until you joined some group of friends who told you, blast gentlemen, don't talk. Anybody that talks, just give it to them. Don't be doing like a mumu girl. Men are not like that. I say, eh, that's how it works. You ate something and from that day your glory went away and the kind of men who would ordinarily come you find out that men increase but it's all nonsense kind of men men that you cannot carry to your parents something a pattern has gone wrong the one factor that was the reason why the glory of God was on you the devil now came and lied to you why be respect yourself be a well-behaved girl be all let me tell you if you act like you're a mumu naive girl men will not come and you say okay i must reinvent myself to be a happening lady and that was the day your destiny helper went away there are many pastors some of you here have come here for impartation let me tell you i submit to you i am a student of patterns there are things that i know i found them God taught me. I said, Lord, I will never bend to them. Years ago, I remember saying some things and I was insulted. I was criticized because of it. I said things about the glory of God. I said things about increase. And I said, the way we are going, if people do not understand these things, they will pay for it. People laughed at me. And today is unfortunate for many people. People see some of the results that God is producing. It's not a charm. It's patterns. When a pattern is complete, listen to me. My sister, you may come from a family where nobody knows you. Stay with God's pattern. Let his glory rest on you. You will join people to wonder and say, God, what, what am I doing? And God says, I'm the God of patterns. Man of God, follow God's pattern for ministry. And you will be afraid of what God will do through your life. We like cutting corners. Cutting corners. Cutting corners. I want a ministry, but I want it now. I want power, but I want it fast. I want this, but I want it now. And we find out that somewhere along the line, the patterns are distorted. And we never see the power of God. Are we together? You do what I'm telling you now to do and see how society will laugh at you. Because we have trained people that the more godless we are, the more happening they are. You see that? So this gentleman now is in the house and somebody advises him, don't give your wife money because if you give her money, she will not respect you. That's what is in vogue now. A demonic pattern. Because loyalty and submission was supposed to be by revelation, not manipulation. Now the man is manipulating the woman. And one day her own Ahitophel too will advise her. And as soon as he advises her, she will get a job and start a business and arrest the husband to prove to him that I am the man in the house. My brothers and my sisters, we are in trouble if we don't return to pattern. Yes. Many marriages do not work because the men are not under authority. You've heard me say it. I have read a lot of books about marriage and I respect it. But I submit to you that many of the books are dealing with symptoms. Do you know, just for a man not having the fear of God, there are hundred problems that can arise from that relationship. Now, you can write a book to solve those various hundred problems, but the root cause is that this man is not saved, period. When a man is not saved, the tendencies that can come are infinite. 
when a man is not under authority he can beat the living daylight out of this woman and say who cares i'm the lord of my life i don't listen to no man the arrogance of nebuchadnezzar it's a pattern why do doctors specialize why do they look at certain sicknesses and they can show you immediately because the sicknesses have patterns malaria has a pattern typhoid has a pattern a doctor can do this just do a quick examination and say wow quickly you need to see a consultant something is wrong without the patterns they have been taught to identify patterns that's it there is a pattern that gives you wealth in this kingdom many believers will not listen the world has its own system it will work but wait to see what it will give you later on it will give you high blood pressure you will be a liar you will be a thief you will destroy your life destroy the integrity of your family so two of us come Sheung. two of us can stand right now and i have i have some money here i have one thousand naira watch this he got his one hold your own hold it high he's old he got his one thousand by a babylonian system and I got my 1,000 from a kingdom system. You would think that two of us are holding 1,000. No. He's holding 1,000 minus five years gone in his life. That's why the blessing of the Lord make it rich and added. That means there is a kind of blessing that adds too. If the blessing of the Lord adds not, that means there is a type that you can get. But with it, you will get this. That's what happened to many of our parents. By the time they are 55 years, he found out that because of Horsley and the way he pushed like that, he's about to retire, but he's not hearing again. Come on to me, Jesus. Let's listen to him now. Let's listen to Jesus. Come on to me, all you that are weary and heavy laden he promises that he will give you rest this is what many people can kill for look at this this thing you see many people have left God because of it many people are going to hell fire because of it yet they never find it and God tells you look there is a way I can give you this such that you will serve me and the world says the way I give you this is the, the more you denounce Jesus the more I give it to you so you keep saying, Jesus, I don't love you. And Mammon says, that's how it works. By the time you have plenty of this, you have not only left the cross, you have left everything God. So when you come and say, I can have this and yet have Jesus, Babylon says, you are joking. But this is what God is training you into doing. That you can have this and if God says, let it go, you drop it because you are aware that this is not your true value your true value is Christ we must return tonight to patterns otherwise we are going to suffer remember that every result is governed by something that something is a pattern the result you get is brought by the glory of God I've seen a little bit of the glory of God and I know when a man has found a pattern for the glory give up on that man if you want to try to take the glory in that area you are wasting your time for as long as the pattern is kept the glory will always always without fail tomorrow I'm in Lagos preaching at a conference and I know that their lives will never be the same because there is a pattern it's not because I'm Joshua Selman. Ah, Elijah said, bring me 12 stones. I know how to make fire come from heaven. Man of God, you are not a blessing to your members if you do not understand the pattern that brings the hand of God. There is a pattern that men do on earth that brings favor. There is a pattern that brings speed. There is a pattern that brings the anointing. I was glad when they said unto me let us go to the house of the Lord 
I was glad. There is something in the house of the Lord that changes the lives of people. But today we are eating trees that make the things of God. Do you know the tree of the knowledge of good and evil teaches you that it is in the abundance of hustling you prosper. Have you had those teachings? And have you seen people write books on them? Have you not read in your Bible that except the Lord builds a house, they labor in vain that build it? The world will laugh at you for saying that. Have you not read again that the Lord said, except he watches over a city, he says, that the watchmen watch it in vain. He said it is vain to wake up in the morning and to sleep late in the night. Does that look like somebody's life that you know? Wake up in the morning, sleep late in the night, only to eat the bread of sorrow. He said, but he gives his beloved sleep. And you see, when you struggle and it does not work, you will be angry at those who are getting it easy because patterns are supposed to create spiritual ease. So you can step into a place and gyrate like a herbalist. The power of God will fall. It is going to fall. And you keep looking at the ladies and nobody is shouting and you are angry. What is no, no sister shouting? And yet, someone comes with the ark and knows how to put 12 stones together. And all of a sudden, you are hosting a dimension of glory. And you stand and watch and say, how are these people doing it? He has to be the devil. No, sir. Patterns. Oh, God, you are my God. And I will ever praise you. Oh, God, you are my God. And I will ever praise you. Oh God, you are my God. And I will ever praise you. I will seek you in the morning. And I everybody is doing just listen to me and follow me I was stupid enough to follow Lord where do I go this way Lord where do I go I remember when the Lord told me put koinonia messages the audio put it on your Facebook page and let it go Lord what is that many ministries raise their money to run the church primarily through the media arm the media arm of every ministry is one of the major ways that God blesses them with. Lord, if you are doing that, how then are you going to bless the ministry? But Lord, how do you put a message on Facebook and then you said you will give it wings? The patterns of God. He uses the foolish things. My brothers and my sisters, listen to me. A lady was talking to me that she was somewhere, one of our ladies, she used to be in the worship team, that she was somewhere on Kekena Pep and the person on Kekena Pep was playing my message. This was in, I think it was in Wari or so or Bielsa. Now, that one is no more advertisement. There is a finger. When you see results that are produced by patterns, you will know that this one is God. The pride of our generation will never allow us to humble ourselves and say, Lord, I don't know. I don't know many young people do not know how to succeed and they would never go to God they will consult with all kinds of equally proud people like them and come up with all kinds of formula that is not consistent with the ways of God that formula may have worked in 1970 but I guarantee it will not work in today's world 
listen young people in nigeria we need to receive the formula for our advancement because computers have, re have replaced men a day will come when almost everything will be done by computers i don't know what the employment issue will be but there is there is a system in this kingdom when there was famine only two sets of people were spared the king and the prophet the king and the prophet did not go through famine any other person in between suffered the squalor of it Alabara. You are the mighty God, and He has always you. You are the glorious Alamara. There are people who will tell you about our teachings that they can stand and sit strangers i shared with you the testimony of a gentleman that bought flash new flash in the case flash drive bought a new flash drive in the case like that given to him the gentleman opened it went to slot it in his laptop and there was koinonia messages brand new flash because it's not men that market this thing they are spirits Ask Jacob in the house of Laban. Do you not see that there was a pattern that made Laban left for three days? How many days? Three days. He came back after three days and saw that his cattle had changed in three days. Do animals get pregnant in three days? But a spiritual pattern was downloaded to the earth realm and things change. That means there is something we can receive from heaven. Remember our popular scripture in this ministry. Knowest thou the ordinances of heaven and canst thou establish the dominion thereof in the earth. There is a pattern. My brothers and my sisters. Listen to me. I want you to be careful what everybody calls the way. Did you hear what I said? Don't be afraid of being controversial. Be careful what everybody says is the way. This is how people make it in life. This is how people marry these days. No, sir. Many of our young children are being destroyed right now in churches because in a bid to create a Western or a 21st century context, we are robbing these young children of the quality of knowing God. Look at Islam. They have not changed their pattern. The way they train children regardless whether it's in saudi arabia or whatever the pattern is the same they know the potency of that formula is god speaking to us let me give us one more and then we'll pray is god speaking to someone tonight so if i am not seeing the glory of god in my life the explanation tonight is that there could be that i am eating I am partaking of an information that may be mainstream it may be popular when I talk to this my adorable gentlemen they are absolutely great people they are going very far you see that yes they are going very far but you see there is a pattern that people believe if you follow you will rise fast believe me it is nonsense any pattern that is not consistent with God's word will not take you far it will throw you up and crash you down that's why you see people rise and shine for two years and then they say their time has come and gone but is that what your bible says doesn't it say that the path of the just talk to me is as a shining light so what is this up today and down tomorrow because there is a pattern if you have to put money in my pocket and bribe my way to making the world know you your success is at the mercy of my loving you the day i don't love you you are in trouble but when god is the one who leads you you will be surprised when you hold my hands everything becomes possible when you
a woman who is barren for five years and they will tell her there's one man is in our village he has the gift he has the gift all you need to do he has the gift and the woman says no i know god's pattern i know that that tree carries good so it's possible to go there and have a child but something will come with that child will come the trouble in your family and then the woman stays and uses her faith and the day god is ready to visit her god will not give her a child the woman will carry t triplets one child being equivalent to 10 children you know that there are people who alone they are equivalent to a nation they give birth to one child because of that one child somebody you have been trying to see for years comes to visit you five people get a job because a child was born is that a child a child that does what a ceo cannot do a destiny helper from birth one week from birth is already a destiny helper and as adult as we are we couldn't help ourselves a child helps us that's not a child that's a miracle that's a breakthrough number three the tree of the knowledge of good and evil thrives on self-centeredness I want you to listen to my message Christ-centeredness I preached it I think earlier this year the language I I wanted my way my way is the language of Babylon my way is proof you are eating of that tree men who eat of that tree have a way they talk it must be my way listen listen oh generation of young people let's listen my way my formula we live in a generation right now where there is an obsession for having things happen our way i want it my way and we take it a step further to force others to also do it our way that's the height of selfishness now most great relationships are destroyed because of the i factor myself i want it my way it has to be as it pleases me unfortunately when you come to the kingdom you learn that the more i goes down the more glory rises and i jesus if i be lifted up not you john said that i will decrease not just him that self i decreases and that you increase james chapter 1 verse 1 and 2 self-centeredness is one of the biggest tragedies of eating of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil james chapter 3 Give us 14 and 15. The Bible says something very instructive. It says, listen, but if ye have bitter envyings and strife in your heart, glory not and lie not against the truth. 15. It says this wisdom. So there is a wisdom that is as a result of self and greed and bitterness my selfishness and my greed can make me act in a way that looks like wisdom but the motivation are we together now the motivation for that wisdom is bitterness self-centeredness the bible says that kind of wisdom descended not from above remember the knowledge of the good of good and evil it says but is earthly is sensual and is devilish so simply because I want to be the one to shine, I can say, Sam, um, because there is a gun inside that room, I say, Sam, why don't you go to that room and go and help me carry a basket? But the goal is so that he will be implicated, so that he will get out of the way for me to shine alone. It looks like wisdom, but the motivation is self-centeredness. The Bible says that wisdom is devilish our world today 
and sadly even in ministry is full of self-centeredness Romans chapter 16 quickly please verse 17 and 18 while I was studying this I found this scripture and it blessed me tonight is a very strong admonishment and I want you to listen carefully 16 and 17 okay read with me one two go now I beseech you brethren mark them which cause what division and offense contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned and do what avoid them next verse for they are such that serve not our lord jesus but they are and by good words and fair speeches they deceive the heart of the simple your bible So I can be looking for money and I can say, do you know what? Um, the Lord gave me a prophetic instruction that all of us are going to do this and that and that. All of us are going to raise to 2,000 and come and touch my shoe and your life will change. And God knows he didn't give that instruction. I just calculated that if there are 5,000 people here and everybody gives to 2,000, highest plus or minus i've already done the mathematics and then i come and say oh god said no their belly is their god their belly a man's belly can be his god meaning you can serve your stomach it's amazing what people do so that they can feel satisfied and don't care the effect on others and on the kingdom that's why people can kill i can look at this gentleman and plot with an assassin look at this these touts around that steal phones and do all of that they can come and cut someone's hand cut someone's neck to collect a phone of twenty-five thousand and go and sell it five thousand that is self-centeredness at work the amount it would take for that victim to treat himself or herself may even be more than what they sold that phone for. But because they need to smoke now, everybody, even if it means death, listen, the moment the comfort of people does not become a factor for your consideration in your desire, you are self-centered. I want this it must be my way brothers we want this I'm the man of the house it must be my way I stamp it ladies I'm the woman of the house I'm not the one that married you you are the one that married me it must be my way and the naughty children come I'm not the one that gave her to this them to they say their own selfishness are we together <laughs> who Jesus himself stripped himself of his glory and came to the earth for God so loved, not himself for God so loved the world I have loved thee with an everlasting love and I have drawn you with my loving kindness selfishness Lord bless me so that everybody in my family will know that I'm not a small man my elder brother who is shouting lord bless me let me disgrace somebody for you and god says me what do you think i am your mate god sees my heart and i stand before you i say this I don't know how many things I do in my life considering myself as the chief benefactor. God is my witness. There are things I do for people today that I sit down sometimes and I think and I say, Kai, you man, now I hope. I talk to myself, I say, now for you, Joshua Selman. 
when you do not have a heart for God and people, you are eating of the tree of life, of knowledge of good and evil. The tree of life takes the attention from you to others. Are we together now? As a preacher, if your whole church is around you, what you can get from members, how they can clap for you, then that means you're in trouble. Let me tell you, true ministry is not about the preacher. It's about the blessed people that God brings so that they are raised, so that they are equipped, so that their lives are blessed. I sit down here many times and I fight tears when I see people stand to testify about the marvelous things that the word of God did for them. Listen. I have found out that there are not many things that are important in life. Did you hear what I said? I have found out that if you walk with God's ways, there are not many things in your entire lifetime that are really important. The complications that come, that our lives bring, are a web that the Babylonian system created for us. So we have depression. Go to the village. You will hardly find people with high blood pressure. For some of them, it's because they are not enlightened. But for some of them, through the wisdom of the ancient, they know the things that really matter. Did you know that when all is said and done in this life, there are not many things that are important. As busy as we are, six o'clock in the morning, we're on our way going. Twelve o'clock, we're on our way going. We do this and kill ourselves trying to eat, trying to gain relevance. I must buy the suit of 200,000 so that they will know. And that self-inflicted pain leads you to do things that you have no business doing. The moment you buy the 200,000 naira suit, the person you want to wear it for, you hear that they've made the person a senator. And you feel stupid for laboring for one year to prove a point. Listen, I have seen people who died trying to impress others. I've seen people who died trying to create something in their life that it was not part of God's template for them. Meet a man on a deathbed right now and tell him what do you desperately want. He will not say an estate. He will not say I need an extra wife. He will not say I need a male fast. <clears throat> the only thing he will cry for is give me more time. That means time is the most valuable thing. And if God ever gives you time, you have everything. But we can waste time to look for what is less than time. God gave you time to serve him, time to love him, time to seek him. We were on our way going to, um, I think it was while we were going to movie, while we were going to the airport, I was talking to my people. And I told them, I said, guys, do you know that this you people's thing that you have forced me to buy has reduced my productivity by at least 10%? And they were amazed. I said, I don't have a problem with it. But um, you can sit down with somebody for 20 minutes and not even ask him his name because someone else is talking to you. And the person who is talking to you can even have gone to be with the Lord. Yet he's talking to you. And somebody that is alive that can help you now. You see that? Everybody. People have had accidents. Typing text while driving. People have done all kinds of things. You see someone stand by the roadside shouting alone. And just nodding with the ear please. These things are turning us into fools. We have to remind ourselves that we are the highest of God's creation. I'm not against excellence. Don't get me wrong. But something is critically wrong that we must trust God for. It's a mind control system. It's controlling us. Right now when you stand, people look at you and they look at the phone you are holding. They see one kind of thing. They say, okay, you can stay there. 
that's a society that is depraved of the formula so it puts pressure someone who is busy saving money for something is under pressure let me carry this there are some you i i thank god because it doesn't allow me to read the prayer items of miracle service i'm sure i would have edited some before presenting them to god and said this is nonsense god please don't waste your time there's a crucial issue here someone is dying leave this iphone issue and kill the person dying So I can go to the place of prayer and spend three hours and that three hours is not because I love God and his purposes the three hours is because I'm manipulating the hand of God to meet my need oh God if you give me a good job and you give me an iPhone Lord you too you know you'll be glorified and God says how how present your course there's no problem how will I be glorified I said, well, Lord, they will respect me. And say, have you, have you found out how many times you mentioned your name in that equation? I said, no, I'm not a careless God. I don't waste. And yet another person is doggedly involved. I said, Lord, I know. There is nothing that I have that is not yours. And while he's talking, God is telling someone, give him the latest iPhone every year. He said, God, I don't need it. He said, me, I want you to need it. That's God for you. It's amazing how God can take someone else's prayer request and give another person who really seeks him. Please, when you go to the secret place, don't waste your time. Learn how to get God's heart. Nobody comes with his heart without his hands. If you invite my heart, my hand will follow. If you invite my hand, I can keep my heart far while my hand goes. Get his heart. And you will see what his hand will do. It's the hand that will remove the heart and put it for you. But with that heart will come more than you have ever imagined. I see God do things in my life and I see God do things in this ministry that sometimes... Okay. This God, ba, I want you to believe him. I will never bow to Babylon. Is a corrupted system. I have seen the fallacy of this system. They are arrogant. Even one hour to their destruction, they will still be arrogant. They have deceived many people today. The Babylonian system has made many people to go to hell. Are you aware of that? There are people who would have been on their way to heaven, but a system deceived them. They deceive many of our parents to not love God. They embrace education, but they left God. Believing that they will be on their job forever, they forgot that demons are still on earth. While they were promoted, their inability to be connected to God didn't give them the opportunity to make exploits. And their lives are almost miserable today. Young people lie to themselves. If you take this and smoke this, you are a man. And it sells a system and you embrace it. Let me tell you, I introduce to you once again a system that is superior may be controversial for a while but the results are like day and night you will rise above men men and watch life in wonder yes it's true I've made my choice I really have I'm not going to run my life based on a depraved system that has no respect for God I will not make money at the expense of my relationship with God. No, sir. That is devilish. Money and God are not the same. I will never allow any brilliant financial expert make me believe money and God is the same. No. In the beginning, God. Not dollars. In the beginning, God. Not Naira. In the beginning, God. Not NMPC. In the beginning, God. Not ABU. In the beginning, God. And he says he's Omega too. So whatever happens in between, I'm sure that he's still there. I live a very happy life, truly speaking. And I live a very peaceful life. Do you know why? Because I have learned in my life, there are very finite things I'm doing with my entire life. The things I'm doing with my life, there are not many. These are the things I live for. 
these are the things my entire course on earth will be for I don't have time to waste on nonsense there's no time wasting to prove any point high blood pressure if they tell you I have high blood pressure well pray for me but I don't think it's true I sleep like a baby I wake up happily this is the day the Lord has made I rejoice and I am glad in it wake up tomorrow morning and stand by the road and see the anger of people he said no nobody's on the road yet he's already angry honing alone and angry this wicked world why is life like this and God says come up to me say no God stay out of my life and others even say it's because you came into my life have you heard people say that if the devil ever puts that thought in your mind my brothers and my sisters cast it that is because God came into my life that's why I'm not lifted if it was not this God thing I would have quietly bribed my way I would have been in NMPC now and people regret and make it look like God you are a disadvantage Bazankoma Bazankoma Nina Bazankoma based on your own convictions if you don't fear God you can't make your children fear God they will fear what you fear you fear money you will raise your children like that whatever you serve is what they will serve you say as for me and my house as for me and my house I've made a choice I want you to join me make this choice make this choice as for me money will not stand between me and God fame will not stand between me and God this devilish system it doesn't mean we should run away from the world we cannot we are in the world but there is another philosophy listen we are praying in the world Sam come if Sam offends me the world teaches that Sam has offended you an eye for an eye make sure you do something that bends him so that he will know but when you come into the kingdom it says to even pray for those who despitefully use you now you do that let me tell you what the world calls you mumu that's the name that's the name invented for those who obey god that far when you obey god that far the world created a name for you everybody will be taking you for a ride you are doing like an idiot revenge share. and bible says vengeance is mine and you are thinking do i do i do something for sam David had the opportunity to kill Saul and he left Saul. Ah, David, yes, your chance. David said, it doesn't work that way. There is a pattern. It is God that lifts. If I lift myself, I will keep myself in the palace. Give. That's the pattern of the kingdom. The wall says, take, search his pocket, remove everything and make it your own. That's how you rise. And that's the way many of us have taught. You can inflate school fees. Daddy, they've increased our school fees to 120,000. Print some letters that are a lie. And they give you, and you say, smartness. That's what the world calls it. In this kingdom, we call it death. Because God's system of justice will catch up with you for sure. Are we together? We are going to pray. Tonight is a wake-up call that you should stop eating from the tree although it looks like it has good there is a more excellent way the tree of life an ideology and a proposition that is superior by far you will live long and live happy you will give and people will think you're a madman yet you are happy because you understand the system that your children surround your table they don't run away from you like you ran away from your parents they come to you and love you that you can lock your house morning till night with your family members and say today we are worshiping God in this family not no time no time I need to make ends meet I need sharp sharp I need money there's one money somewhere and God is saying settle down God no 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 My, the, the person has called me to come now I need to come a man can receive nothing 
intelligent people hear me lean not on your own understanding it says in all your ways acknowledge him I am aware that I'm not very smart in myself I'm giving up on my own intelligence outside of God that's why I need him like a matter of life and death and I say Lord if you do not speak my intelligence is too frail to give me the results that I seek these are the kinds of people that he loves when people stand and say Apostle Joshua Selman I remember that in this kingdom there is only one person who is glorified it is in his being glorified that you are also lifted and then I turn I say Lord Jesus this is unto you and they say no shine I say no we shine by letting him shine then he reflects his light on us that's how we get our own we don't shine and turn our backs at him say Lord I have brought you this as a trophy and he says you are doing this for me then I will lift you men of God be careful when men begin to clap for you and say without you the world will not move without koinonia you cannot I mean come with or without me, God's sovereignty remains. With or without me, his kingdom and his purposes will continue. If I die today, you will only cry for seven days. You will first try to raise me back. If I don't refuse to wake up, you will throw me, you will pray and pray and be tired and one by one you will start going and throw me in a grave and cry one last time and I tell you that will be it. You will think your life will not continue. I will stand and I'm watching you with the angels and say, bury that body and go. <laughs> Don't mind the ignorant people who say it doesn't matter. You just serve God like that. According as his divine power hath given us all things that pertain unto life and godliness. Everyone say after me, life, life. godliness. Life, life, godliness. There are things that pertain unto godliness. Your character, your work with God, your prayer life, your spiritual development. Those are things that pertain unto godliness. But there are things that pertain unto life. Your children's school fees, your accommodation, the well-being. That any man who is unable to cater for his family, according to scripture, has denied the faith and is worse than an infidel. So when the devil wants to discourage you as a man of God, you're preparing a sermon and here comes your son with a PTA letter. And your eyes, the letter is usually typed except where the money will be. They write it with biro and the price is doubled. You stand there wanting to kill your son. Why has the school fees been doubled? And the child said, they just gave me to give you. And you look at it. Your salary is not increased. Nothing else is increased. But the bills are rising. The devil wants to send you to Egypt. A time will come what, what you would not do yesterday, you will now do tomorrow on the strength of the pain. Hunger can take men to Egypt. Hallelujah. A dear man of God called me, I think uh, two weeks or so. I don't know him so much. And from one of these nations. And he called me and was lamenting he said apostle pray for me our ministry is under serious financial attack he said right now honestly the way things are we may not even be able to hold our service because the bills you know things are going down economically and the givings of the people also seem to have followed and you know i got angry in my spirit i said this is the kind of news satan wants because you see very soon the devil will bring one rich man who will pocket that ministry because of one million or one five or ten million or whatever it is that he gives you will lose your voice lose your relevance lose your integrity on the platter of hunger was it not hunger that made Esau to sell his birthright only an irresponsible ministry will not address the issue of hunger that is going on there are many things to address but hunger should be one of them believers are hungry they need a technology that is higher than what has been proposed let me tell you there is a path which no fowl knoweth the whelps of the lion has not gotten there there are dimensions reserved for these times when god will bring out as a display of his intelligence 
Do you not know that the strategy of saving 20% was God's intelligence? It's not just an economic strategy. There is always a reservoir in God's intelligence. For times when people cry, when the saints cry, God will say, show them that the wisdom of God is inexhaustible. Health care is one of the devourers in our world today. Do you know how much it takes to treat people? Once your son is sick, you are crying already because you know. How much does it take? We have so many doctors here. One of our doctors came and I asked him to check a woman. And when he brought the list for the x-ray, I said, I will buy that machine. No. I said, I said, I, 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 and open an x-ray, an x-ray place. I mean, how much? Not the whole body. I don't know what part of the body it was. But when I saw the bills, I said for x-ray. And almost every day, someone has to go there. If you are collecting 50,000 naira and you use 30,000 for x-ray, there is no reason why that child will give you joy. Are we together? Anything that child does will annoy you. And then help that child. Let him not take first or second or third. You will almost kill the child. There are real issues that we cannot laugh at. Real issues. And this night, God is determined to rise up and not only step in, but turn things around. John chapter 10 and verse 10. Thank you. John chapter 10 and verse 10, please. It says, the thief cometh not. There is a name Satan is called. And here he is called the thief. Are we together? If someone knocks your gate and you say, who is that? He said, the thief. You don't need to ask him what tribe, what gender. He will call the police immediately and say, there is a thief. There is an armed robber in front of my house. And Jesus is preaching here. And he says, the thief cometh not. That means you will never see him around. But for to steal and to kill and to destroy. So everywhere you see stealing, killing and destruction. Is a signature, the thief, Satan. He comes into a joyful family. Are we together? Happy husband, come my dear. Happy wife. When the thief comes in between them, he must scatter everything. One flimsy excuse or the other. He will come in between business partners and shred them. When Satan passes a place, you know this is him. He will leave his signature, stealing killing destruction we would be in trouble if jesus stopped there but he says i am come mm. he didn't say i have come i am has come to bring life and that you have that life more abundantly lavishly i am come that he may have life I am come that he may have solutions. I have come to show you that there is a way out of this. I am come to show you that there are possibilities. Are we together now? Now the last thing I want to say before we begin to pray. I will continue to teach this because repetition is the key to persuasion. The Bible says, according as his divine power. Please give it to us. That's second, first, um, second Peter chapter 1 from verse 2 please. Grace and peace, verse 2, be multiplied unto you at, through the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord. Verse 3. It says, according as his divine power hath given us. So what gives us in this kingdom? His divine power. Never forget this. It is not faith. Faith is a channel that allows his divine power to pass. The agency, the force that is responsible for connecting us with spiritual possibilities is his divine power for many years there has been an argument about the workings of faith and the anointing there is no argument there are we together faith is the pipe that the power of god flows to to carry supernatural solutions to you if there is no faith there is no channel of the power from the throne room to your situation it will not be possible you don't choose faith or the power of God. That's not a theology taught in the Bible. He never taught any of them in isolation. His divine power. 
every request on your list will be solved by his divine power now let me teach you this i've taught you again what is on you is what controls the results around you please never forget this the results around you do not fabricate themselves the results around you are mirrors they are a reflection of the kind the level the dimension of the grace that is upon you so i can know the grace on you by looking at the possibilities in your life i can know what grace has come upon you by looking at what changes it is impossible to increase in grace and your possibilities remain the same no the testimonies that recycle around your life are an attest they are they attest to the fact that this is the level and the extent of grace hear me every door can open it just depends on the grace asking it to open everybody is a giver it depends on the grace that asks them to give someone can refuse to bless you and yet carry a millionaire and meet someone else and say give me the privilege of blessing you nobody is really stingy the problem is that these possibilities don't happen in the earth dimension they are realities that are finished in the realm of the heavens and only executed the earth is a realm of execution the same way your body is the anointing and the grace on your life is what controls the possibilities around you please listen to me his divine power there are doors that have refused to open the doors are not stubborn the doors are only obedient to the last instruction and since the anointing speaking to it is not that high the door will remain obedient to the last instruction the day a higher authority speaks that door will open i assure you please don't generalize challenges challenges are only relative to the grace that confronts them this is a message of hope for you to hear challenges are only relative to the grace that confronts them even the king could not solve the hunger problem of samaria here comes the prophet he did not come to solve the problem he said ah, okay i see that there is a situation everyone was hungry except the king and the prophet he said by this time tomorrow then a foolish man said even if god will open the window of heaven how will these things be and he says you will see it but you will not partake of it i believe in the power of god i've seen what the power of god can do stop wasting your time trying to change things physically creation has never been disobedient creation is the most obedient entity you can find the money you are looking for is not disobedient there is an unction that calls it if it's not there it is authorized to leave you creation is obedient when noah was ready to open the ark when he opened the ark there was a grace that came on every animal by themselves the bible never said noah went to the wilderness to chase them animals with no higher intelligence they found their way to the ark if animals can find their way to the ark why should your destiny helper find it difficult to find you why should breakthrough find it difficult to noah just stood there and allowed the grace to walk you rest only when the grace walks let me tell you life is hard when you are walking on your own in this kingdom we don't walk with our hands our hands only help us to receive the grace when it comes you enter your sabbath are you getting what i'm saying now the power of god is the spiritual mechanism responsible the signs and wonders that will happen in this place right now the healings and the miracles and the breakthroughs they will happen according as his divine power acts chapter 10 and verse 38 it says how god anointed jesus of nazareth the information is not that he was anointed look at the extent to which he was anointed with the holy ghost and with power he says he went about doing good and healing all they that were oppressed of the devil for god was with him there are people inside there are people outside there are people standing 
in such sacrifice waiting for God it will be very wicked to share the grace the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and tell everybody bye bye return back with your challenge no I want you to believe God tonight and insist Lord whatever will come upon me must come upon me whatever must change must change whatever must grow must grow whatever must die must die when there is no expectation it becomes wrong for God to visit you because one of the things that he gave men seven benefits given to man at creation one of it is the right to choose the will that God gave man is a fundamental right it's not for Christians once you are a man you were given the right to choose salvation even at the detriment of your going to hell was left for your choice God will never 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 violate your right to choose I said before you life and death I said before you blessing and cursing I can only advise you choose life I said before you prosperity and poverty I said before you success and failure I said before you spiritual growth and and a low level of spirituality it's up to you to choose I choose life oh, and everything that comes with it I choose speed I choose increase I choose honor I choose dignity I choose open doors I choose open heavens it's a choice and if you're a family man here as for you and your house you can't choose for the whole world but you can choose for your house that the favor of God can rest upon your life tonight and that within the next one month things will shift in your life in a way and a manner that will surprise you if you do not believe these things exist you are not a Christian a Christian is not just one who is born again a Christian is one who has submitted to the ideologies of the kingdom as the ultimate value system of your life hallelujah I'd like you to believe God don't say I've come for miracle service before you see let me tell you the truth my assignment as a man of God is not to invite you my assignment as a man of God is to continue to grow in grace so that the things that would not answer to me in January must answer in June otherwise what is the superiority of growth if the same thing that did not answer to me three months ago refuses to answer now I'm only maintaining my spiritual level I'm not growing there was a time when some spirits did not answer to the apostles they went to Jesus asking a question and they said why couldn't we do this he said this kind there is a technology for taking this one out see let me tell you sincerely there is enough grace to wipe the tears in your eyes there is enough grace to turn the tables around the anointing works like money I've taught you it can only solve the problems that are lower than it the anointing does not generically solve every problem no no you have to understand this it's very important to know I have let me just still five ten minutes to explain this look at this this is 1,000 Naira look at this and if I give you this 1,000 Naira it can buy a bottle of water is that true it can even buy you lunch or dinner depending on where you eat but this cannot buy you a car this cannot pay a child's school fees but it is still money so if you want to pay a child's school fees you need more of the same thing to the level that meets the demand every challenge in life has a level of grace attached to it not every grace solves every problem if every grace solves every problem then it doesn't make sense to grow in grace Acts chapter 2 they were filled with the Holy Ghost Acts chapter 4 they were filled with the Holy Ghost again to what end it says that you stretch forth your hands and that miracles signs and wonders be wrought in the name of your Holy Son there was a dimension of grace requiring a higher level of the anointing Gehazi carried his rod, the rod of Elisha, and he came and laid it on the dead body. The body did not rise. But when the prophet came, 
that dead body came back to life. Every challenge is relative to the grace that confronts it. I know men of God have prayed for you. They are not fake just because you did not get the result. It is a reflection of the extent and the level of grace. And God grants the privilege of grace. And that's why as men of God, we must continue to grow in grace. So that what we could not solve yesterday, we can now solve tomorrow. That is the proof of grace. Are we together now? We are going to pray tonight. It's going to be a very quick walk in this place. I trust God and I believe that in the name of the Lord, that things will so change in your life, it will surprise you. Please rise up on your feet. Lift your voice and begin to mention specifics. Unto him that answers prayer shall all flesh come. Rise up on your feet and please pray. Oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah Yahweh yeah oh yeah yeah say oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah Turn my life around. Turn my life around tonight. Turn my ministry around. Turn my family around. Is someone praying? Turn things around. Shalabarata <laughs> Katos. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We are going to be very fast. I minister by the Spirit. And the goal is for God to solve people's problems and deal with all the issues that are not of God. Praise the Lord. It will be very, very fast. I'm not sure I may have the time to prophesy tonight because I want us to finish very fast. Our time is gone. But let your heart be open. There is a God in heaven. Please don't be used to your situation. If you're a visitor here and you came, come insisting that I did not leave where I left to be here only to return back with stories. Uh-uh. That is not the God that we serve. Are we together? Hallelujah. There are three people. The power of God is coming on outside. Overflow one. Please, I'd like you to bring them out here. Please, let's start very quickly. We're going to pray. Three people. The power of God is coming upon them right now. three people the power of God is coming upon them right now a very strong anointing please bring them very quickly and then and then we'll pray and then we'll pray when you have them please bring them very quickly the Lord is already moving listen let me tell you the truth I want you to believe believe that God will step in and turn your life around hallelujah turn your life around from the back right to the center i'm seeing the power of god come on someone now from the back right to the center from the back right to the center please bring them out right now now the lord is that spirit and where the spirit of the lord is there is liberty there is liberty. An end comes to every oppression. An end comes to every oppression. An end comes to every oppression. An angel of the Lord is still standing here. 
I'm still seeing this road. Right now, it's like smoke just moving across. Right now, from the top to the back. Please bring them out. An end comes. God is stepping in to locate people by His Spirit. Remember the Bible says, now the Lord is that Spirit. And it says, where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. I command every oppression of darkness. I want to pray now. I see fire in this place. This is what I'm seeing. By the Spirit of the... And listen... At the count of three, I want you to shout the name Jesus. That every spirit that is other than the spirit of the Christ, responsible for any challenge and any predicament, it must let you go now. Inside and outside, online. Are you ready? Father, let there be deliverance right now. One, two, three. Shout Jesus. Jesus. I cause every power, bring them out right now, every oppression of darkness, it must go now, it must go now. Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, Yahweh, Yahweh, oh yeah, yeah, say. I'm still praying the Lord is showing me a vision of a padlock in the spirit I'm seeing a padlock and I'm seeing what looks like a key about to open it at the count of three again you're going to shout that name I see opening opening doors that have been closed are you ready now one two three be open now every closed door be open, be open now. Be open now. Be open now. Close doors over families. Close doors over ministries. Close doors over destinies. I decree and declare. Be open. Be open now. Bring them out, please. Be open now. Be open now in the name of Jesus. Overflow one, two, three across the road. Online, be free now. Hallelujah. I'm seeing. I'm seeing like stones in a vision. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm seeing like a strange fire. These are representations of altars. Listen, there are families that have been covenanted to all kinds of ordinances. Fire is about to come from heaven right now. In the name of Jesus, you are ready to shout now. Father, every family here that is under any kind of ordinance, I come tonight with the rod of a higher priesthood at the count of three let fire from heaven liberate that family right now one two three be free right now be free right now be free right now in the name of jesus we blot out handwritings we blot out handwritings bring them out i cause altars yokes of darkness ordinances Speaking against the people of God. Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, Yahweh. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, say. Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah.
Hallelujah. I'm seeing the map of Nigeria and I'm seeing the hand of God go to the eastern states. The eastern states. Right now, God is bringing deliverance. The east, Abia, Anambra state, Enugu state, Epoi state. I'm seeing an anointing right now. Rest on people within that state. Let there be liberty right now. Let there be liberty right now. You belong to that state. The power of God is coming upon you. Right now. Right now. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. It's a sign and a wonder how God does it. I'm seeing the map. The east. God is bringing liberty. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me the map again. I'm seeing an arrow. And I'm seeing it go to Benway. Benway State. Right now I stretch my hands. Benway, Benway. That anointing, you are from that state. Any ordinance tying your destiny must let you go right now. Must let you go right now. This is by the authority of the kingdom. Benway State. Benway State, liberation right now, in the name of Jesus Christ. Release their destinies right now, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm seeing fire just within this circumference in front there are two families god wants to set free right now within this circumference i'm seeing fire coming upon them right now bring them out right now by the spirit of grace in the name of jesus the son of the living god things must change in your life my friend this young man lift your hands where you are there is oil being poured on your head right now right now in the name of Jesus the Lord is removing something that looks like an arrow from your head let it go right now in the name of Jesus Christ let him go now oh yeah yeah oh yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah can't we hallelujah fire is still falling here I'm seeing this deliverance is especially for women an entity comes to molest you in the night you go to bed and a strange spirit just comes right now in the name of Jesus the Lord is asking me to just count two and at the count of two that fire is coming on people right now one two let that fire come now liberation from ordinances of darkness every stranger that comes to manipulate your destiny be free now all those in front here I decree the power that holds you I come by the rod of a higher priesthood at the count of three let them go now one two three go Leave them now. Release their destinies. Right now. Let there be restoration. Everything that has been stolen from hell. I command the restoration. By the spirit of the living God. By the spirit of grace. The Bible says now the Lord is that spirit. And where the spirit of the Lord is. There is liberty. Be free right now. Please open your mouth and begin to pray. Everything that must live your life insists it must live your life now. The angel of the Lord is removing arrows. I'm seeing arrows, arrows coming out of people that's what i'm seeing arrows 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 right now 
right here arrows arrows go now arrows have been removed out of people in the name of Jesus madam be free right now be set free now the Lord is setting someone free here right now someone in this room I'm seeing fire just resting on someone be free right now in the name of Jesus everything that has held you bound be free right now be free right now be free right now be free right now in the name of Jesus be free right now be free right now in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus those outside keep praying something is resting upon you right now the Lord asked me to come to overflow one I want to pray for you there is an anointing right now I stretch my hands fire from the front to the back everyone under any kind of yoke right now as I'm passing be free be free help them please out now release their destinies release their destinies now please help them whether you are an usher or not help them that yoke must let you go now that yoke must let you go now I'm passing this road right now once I pass you the anointing of the Holy Ghost is taking everything that is not of God release them now release their destinies now release their destinies now let that fire rest upon you right now everything that has refused to open be open now be open now be open now be open now close doors be open now be open now now listen overflow two i may not touch you but in the name of jesus i pass your role except god is not god if there is anything sitting on your destiny it must let you go right now be free be free i bring you the anointing of the holy ghost be free now open up your gates your gates gates be open destiny be open now be open in the name of jesus be open now in the name of jesus be open in the name of jesus be open in the name of jesus fire is resting on this road just right there i'm seeing someone the oppression of your family is coming to an end right now i stand by this grace please anyone here anything that is not of god sitting on your destiny right now at the count of three all of you just i'm seeing fire right now and i'm seeing chains broken from people's legs right now be be set free now be set free now be set free now be set free now there is a lady here god is saying it is over right now i'm seeing an anointing liberating a lady's family right now help them please whether you're an usher or not please if anybody's falling close to you so they don't injure themselves hallelujah please shift that lady be free now i'm pointing my hands to her i command that devil to leave your family and your destiny now in the name of jesus christ begin to pray begin to pray overflow three pray pray overflow three something is about to release your destiny now something is about to release your destiny now something is about to release your destiny now overflow three i came with an anointing at the count of three shout jesus fire is falling from the top to the bottom one two three go 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 now every yoke every altar be free now bring them out whether you are an usher or not bring them out every oppression of darkness right to the back i declare by the anointing of the holy spirit be free now be free now bring them out
I've seen all kinds of spirits. I command every spirit that is not of the Christ. Release God's people right now. At the count of three. I'm seeing fire resting on people. And I'm seeing a number 41. 41 people. At the count of three, shout Jesus. Are you ready? One, two, three. Shout Jesus. Right now, be free by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Be free right now. Every door that has refused to open, I open that door right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. There are 27 people here. The grace for speed is coming upon them. I don't know who you are, but right now, the grace for speed, I stand by the anointing from the front to the back. Right now, in the name of Jesus, receive that anointing right now. Speed, I release speed over your life, over your destiny. Receive speed in the name of Jesus. Speed in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Overflow 3, hear me. There are people here, the Lord is telling me, no one rises in your family. When they get to a level, something brings them bow. And the Lord is saying, I should shift you by prophecy. I stand right now, I don't know where they are, but the anointing of the Holy Ghost is going to come upon you. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I'm seeing the number 17. Lord, I don't know where they are here, but in the name of Jesus, I declare, move to the next level right now. I shift you to the next level right now. I shift you to the next level right now. Hallelujah. I'm looking at 14 people here. You have the call of God upon your life. And right now, the anointing of the Holy Ghost is going to locate you. 14 people. Lord, where are they? I stretch my hands right now. Apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, Deborahs. Lord, where are they? Let that man to locate you now. The call of destiny that is upon you. Oh, prophet of God, may that fire find you. In the name of Jesus Christ. hallelujah there are 15 people here overflow three the spirit of revelation is coming on you unusual insight i don't know where they are but right now i'm seeing light not fire light light coming on people 15 people step into a new dimension of the revelatory grace right now in the name of jesus now we hallelujah praise the Lord main auditorium please lift your hands main auditorium lift your hands I'm seeing seven people main auditorium lift your hands I'm seeing seven people the grace for speed I will pray it on everybody but the main auditorium there is a grace for unusual speed on seven people they will begin to run by the anointing right now. Please hold them so they don't injure themselves. Main auditorium, I stretch my hands. At the count of three, like Elijah, may that grace come. One, two, three. Receive that grace right now. In the main auditorium, step into the anointing for speed. In the name of Jesus. Overflow three, lift your hands. Every door that has refused to open over your ministry, over your life, held down by witchcraft, in the name that is above all names, at the count of three, I'm seeing doors open in the spirit. One, two, three, let that door be open now. Be open now. Be open now.
the Lord wants to avert death over a family this year alone between last year and this year four people have died in your family four people have died and in the name of Jesus Christ an anointing is coming upon you right now let death be averted now in the name of Jesus now listen all of you at overflow three and the extension there whatever must live your life as I'm passing this place, please, I, I'm releasing my faith. Open your mouth now and declare, Lord, it must live my life now. Go ahead. Go ahead. Pray, please. All those in front here, the spirit that ties your destiny, I command at the count of three, let them go now. One, two, three, go, 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 go. Out of their lives. Out of their destinies. Make sure you are praying. Make sure you are praying. The power of God is resting on someone here. There's an anointing coming on someone right here. In the name of Jesus. There's an anointing coming on someone here. And the Lord is saying it comes to an end. That family crisis comes to an end. The power of God is resting on someone by my left here. Right now receive that anointing. Let it go in Jesus name. Be free right now in Jesus name the power of God is resting on someone here right here I'm seeing an anointing right now it's a prophetic grace there's someone here a prophetic grace is coming upon you right now by my left here in the name of Jesus drink of that anointing drink of that fountain may that grace rest upon your life right now in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus the Lord says it is over over right now by the power of the Holy Spirit look at me my friend the Lord is taking you to a height and a dimension in the spirit I lay my hands on you drink of that grace in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah I'm seeing what looks like smoke just this region where I'm where you're looking at me right now there are four people I'm seeing the power of God like a wind just coming on them just this road right now Lord where are they I stretch my hands right now right now the power of the Holy Ghost is coming on those people and the Lord is saying it is over he's taking away captivity four of you by the spirit of grace let it be over right now in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus there is a family here marriage does not happen in that family but I'm seeing fire rest right now the embargo is being broken now. The embargo is being broken. Whoever those people are, an anointing is coming on you now. For the sake of your family, that yoke of marital delay is breaking right now. It's breaking right now. In the name of Jesus, please lift your voice and pray. Everybody, pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit. There is one of you among those standing here. There is a call of God upon your life. An anointing is coming upon you you will be mightily used by God where is that person spirit of the living God the hand of God just near the gate here the power of God is coming upon that person right now a new dimension in the spirit the eyes that see and the ears that hear may you step into that level in the spirit in the name of Jesus Christ my friend touch this gentleman for me lift your hands I stretch my hands over you I command I'm seeing chains all over your body I command those chains to give way now in the name of Jesus release him now let him go now by the power of the Holy Ghost I cut those chains I'm seeing chains from your head to your toe let me pray for those here please all of I hear I'm the Lord is opening my eyes and from here to the fence I'm seeing snakes and I'm seeing five people there is a major deliverance that is coming for a family right now. In the name of Jesus, may the anointing of the Holy Spirit locate those ones now. Five of you, right now. These spirits, my God, my God, I'm seeing something living right now. Release them now. Release, no matter how long, release them now. It is written that even the lawful captives shall be delivered. I declare emancipation now by the Spirit of the living God. Where are you coming from? 
You are a gala. I want to pray for you. Are you alone? If you came here alone, what do you do? I want to pray for you. The spirit of death is upon you. And the Lord is saying I should pray for you. So that those dreams you used to have, seeing dead people, is that true? You have dreams and... Too much, yes. The Lord is saying that you are going to be free from it right now. I declare in the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the... There is, there is someone here at academic delay over your family is breaking right now. I just please don't be carried away acting this thing. I passionately to help people experience God. I'm praying. I don't know where that family is, but now scattered in this congregation, I stretch my hands. Let the anointing of the Holy Spirit family right now. I'm seeing a family here. None of you has a job. None of you. There are even a few graduates, but nobody at all. It's like the doors of jobs don't open. Right now, you're going to sense fire come up your hands. Real physical fire. And the Lord is saying, by that, help them. By that, that embargo is broken. Lord, I, I declare right now, let the anointing of the Holy Spirit rest upon those people and bring emancipation. Everyone lift your voice and begin to pray in the Spirit. Please begin to pray in the spirit. Don't say you are not inside. God can locate you from any direction. God can locate you from any direction. Bring me this lady, please. In the name of Jesus Christ, delay ends in your life. I stretch my hands and I pray. Delay, help her. The Lord is taking away witchcraft from this family. I command that devil, go now. See, it doesn't matter whether you are inside or outside. Just release your faith. In the name of Jesus, be free right now. Be free right now. My friend, the call of God is upon your life. There is, that is coming upon you. It's a healing anointing. I stretch my hands. May that grace begin to work effectually. Now, step into that grace. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now, listen. Among all of you from here to here, the grace for speed is coming on two people. Listen. Those two people will start running now. Please hold them. Hold them so they don't enjoy themselves. That anointing right now. All across. Two you can't control yourself. Hold them please. Whether you are an usher, I release that grace. Speed. Two people. Strange speed. God is ending delay right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing two of you a prophetic anointing. You are not prophets, but you have been desiring this grace. The grace to see from here right to where that lady with the veil is. I don't know where they are, but I stretch my hands. May that anointing find you right now. Accuracy of sight. and Help them, help them, please. Help them, please. In the name of Jesus Christ. Name of Jesus Christ. Name of Jesus Christ. An angel of the Lord is taking away reproach. There is a family here. The Lord is saying the captivity ends now. An anointing is coming upon you right now. It's now. In the name of Jesus someone here is it your sister has been trusting god for the fruit of the womb who is that listen where where is she at home what of you come how long who has had three miscarriages three miscarriages go and tell her she will have a baby girl that the Lord is giving her a baby girl in the name of Jesus I pray for you both in the name of Jesus let it come to an end right now let that captivity come to an end in the name of Jesus there's someone here your family has a court case who is that please court case don't make sure you don't tell us please they want to kill you because of what? What did you do? 
What did you do? Hold on, I have to. Where are you from? Where is that? I have to pray for you. You have bad friends. Hold on, let me talk to you. Eh? You have very bad friends. Bad friends. You need to be delivered. This is not even your whole life. Eh? You know what I'm saying, right? You need to repent. Eh? Listen, when I make an altar call, run and come because the real salvation is you. It's not the issue of court case of this. You, you have friends that are criminals and we have to pray. You hear what I'm saying? God is locating you to help you. Listen, let me tell you, my dear people, let me. When God locates us like this, is because he wants to help you. There's somebody here. Your name is Sarah. Where is that person? Sarah. Hold on, please. Don't, don't. Let me just prophesy. I, I, my heart is full. God wants to visit people. Stand up. Who is Sarah? Where are you from? Huh? Where are you from? No, no, we're state of origin. I want to pray for you. Who is Godia? Yeah. Godia. The Lord wants to visit you right now. Acting God truly wants to change your life. Yeah? I want to pray for you. Whose mother is in the hospital? I'm seeing someone's mother lying down in the hospital here. Your mom? Come. I'm seeing that down in Portacot. Port, uh, yes, I Portacot. You came from Portacot. Go on. I'm going to pray. For, do I know you? I've never seen you. I want to pray for you. God is turning your situation up. Is as you are standing, let your heart be open. Your people may be far. Don't ever think I'm just because I come outside like this to encourage you to let you know that you must not make it inside. You win. Are we together? The power of God is going to come upon you. A loud shout that will be the person I'll prophesy to right now in just those outside here. It's not something you can stand. This is a sign and a wonder from the Spirit of God. That's not the shout. The shout is coming. It's a loud shout. Please bring the person when that happens. That's the shout. Bring the person. In the name of Jesus Christ. My friend, lift your hands. Jesus, come. Do you? What are you doing? What do you do? Of God, your own church. You are assisting someone. You came here not just to receive a miracle for your mother, but you came to take fire. Stand up. Why you came? Listen to me. You are going to go back and you will step into a dimension of signs and wonders that will surprise you. Sarah, in the name that is above all names, every oppression over your family, I come against it right now. I'm still hearing that name, Godia. Who is that? Hold on, please. Hold on. Where are you from? Huh? You are from Kat Saminaka. Hold on, please. Your sister. Blood sister. Same father, same mother. You've been praying for God to locate you. It's okay. You. Hi. The spirit of death is over your family. Huh? That's what I'm saying. I'm seeing you dreaming and dreaming of dead people. They will come and they are calling you. Sometimes they are saying you should eat together. This is the spirit of death coming on the family. But in the name of Jesus, I use them as a point of contact. If there is anybody under the sound of my voice that the spirit of death is coming upon you, help her. I caught spirit now. Name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing a family. Money does not stay in your house. No matter what happens. Once resources enter. You love God. But resources. Something must happen. Either sickness. Or they will steal it. Or something will come up. I'm seeing what looks like a blue flame. 
and it's resting on at least five people and the Lord is saying an end comes to financial hardship father where are they right now I stretch my hands let that anointing locate you right now in the name of Jesus Christ please lift your voice and begin to pray my friend your hands shout Jesus as loud as you can an end comes now in the name of Jesus Christ please lift your voice and pray in the spirit everyone my dear look at me I command that spirit to leave you now of darkness must let you go in Jesus name lift your voice and pray everyone please pray pray in the spirit pray in the spirit please pray in the spirit pray in the spirit everyone madam help this woman so that she doesn't fall with it I command everything that is not of God to let you go now release this woman's destiny now in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus oppression leaves right now someone here there is a spirit that has oppressed your family it must go now I command that devil of darkness help her please that spirit must leave now in the name of Jesus please everyone pray in the spirit everyone pray in the spirit God is visiting us right now one media person here there is an anointing resting on someone the Lord is bringing to end the captivity on your family I'm seeing it by the Spirit of God captivity coming to an end in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus let it end now by the Spirit of the Living God let it end now in the name of Jesus my friend I'm seeing what what looks like a towel on you and the Lord is wiping away infirmity in the name of Jesus infirmity let it go right now please make sure you are praying in the name of Jesus the Son of the Living God the spirit of death there is a family here that spirit must go now the spirit of death release them now in the name of Jesus release them now release them now the spirit of death there will be no obituary I command that devil to go now madam excuse me madam look at me come Are you a man of God? Come, you too. Please come. I don't know you. Where are you coming from, sir? Where do you, what do you have to do with Adamawa? Is it Anambra? Huh? Who is from Anambra? Me, from Anambra State. You came all the way. Ah. There is a grace to see that God is going to be delivering to you. Number two, there is speed in ministry. That God, I don't know you, sir. I've not seen you. You're, you're together. You're a man of God, too. You're a man of God. You're a ministry. Can I pray for you, sir? Because I'm seeing this anointing, strange anointing come on you. You will go back and it's going to be fire all the way. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for this man of God. Step into that grace in the name of Jesus. The anointing of the Holy Spirit, you will never be the same. Can I pray for you, sir? By the anointing of the Holy Ghost, drink of this wine, you will never be the same. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. Mommy, let me pray for you. Hold on, please. Please stand up. Stand up. Who is Jennifer? Jennifer. 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 The Lord is visiting. The Jennifer I'm seeing, you are outside. You are holding a child. Jennifer. Jennifer, is there someone like that? Oh, please oh, confirm. I'm, what's your name? They always confirm before you allow Jennifer, them. Sir. Jennifer, is this your child? Yes, sir. Where are you coming from? From this is my state. Huh? From GRA. No, no, where, where are you coming? Kaduna State. Kaduna State. Yes. I want to pray for you. So that the spirit that makes marriages to not work in your family will not catch up with you does Amen. it make sense what i'm saying yes, sir. i want to pray for you well this boy has a great destiny forget about whatever it is that has happened or not happened i want to pray for you
the Lord located you to bless you. What's his name? Fortune. 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 Yes, I will pray for you. Mama, where are you coming from? I come from Togo. You came from Togo? Yes, just yesterday. Just yesterday? Yes. What are you trusting God for? Ah, my daughter in America. She's the one that sent me to you. She has been seeing you in her dream. You have done so many things for her in the dream. Then she said that I must come. So that through me, you will not get her. She's asking for contract. That is contract that she's seeking for. She... Just calm down, madam. You came all the way from Togo. Yes, sir. Let me tell you what God will do in your life. First, not even just your daughter. Eh? Leave your daughter's issue. God is going to bring your daughter, but it's you. First, that back pain. Eh? That back pain that you have. You get up in the morning and there's severe back pain. That back pain will leave you now. That's number one. Number two, the dead people you see in your dream. Eh? Sometimes you go to bed and you see dead people, people who have died. But they are alive talking to you. Jesus. I need to pray for you. And then number three, God is going to visit your daughter. Tell her the month of August is a month of breakthrough. And in the name of Jesus, be free right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Why are they here, please? Sir? You are a teacher. Did you apply for a job? Yes. Where? Because I'm seeing a letter and I'm seeing congratulations. It, hold on. Ah, you are a teacher. Yes, sir. Where? With uh, KHMS. What is Dambo International? It's a school. Did I you know. apply there? Yes. Like I'm seeing that they are going to give you a job. Ah, huh? I will pray for you, sir, because this teaching you are doing is only for a while. There is a grace of entrepreneurship upon you. And that grace is going to come and God will shift you to a dimension. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. How many children do you have? One. Just one. Yes, sir. I have one outside. No. Hold on. Don't be embarrassed. Eh? I'm seeing one child. Then the vision changes and I'm seeing two again. Huh? You have one. You have two. What is the mystery? Explain. Before I married her, I have a son outside. Okay, before you married her, you have a child. Yes, the, yes sir. Okay, I want to pray. Don't, don't make sure you treat the child with honor and grace. All the children that came out from you are great children. You understand? Please don't fight that child, eh? Madam, you hear what I'm telling you? Yes. I know that we live in a, a society that sometimes all kinds of troubles can come, but may God grant you the grace to manage things well. Sir, there is a grace of wealth that is upon you. Please look at me. It looks like you are a teacher, but your destiny is not a teacher. You are a real kingdom financier, and there is a grace for finances that should come upon you. Please look at me. You see this woman? She's a good woman. Don't ever let the devil use the face of any devil and use her face to make it look as if this is an evil woman. And don't let any prophet anywhere tell you this woman is a witch. In the name of Jesus, I tell you, God gave you a good woman. She's a good woman. Madam, you are a good woman. In the name of Jesus, let me pray for you, sir. Please hold my hands. In the name that is above all names, I open up every closed door over your life and destiny. I shift you to that realm of wealth in Jesus' name. The person, look up, please. The person who comes to molest you when you sleep, it comes to an end now. In the name of Jesus, every fraternity with darkness is gone now and gone forever. In the name of Jesus. I don't know why, why are they here. Who is Sarah? Are you married? We are not more together. Huh? I have two children, but we are not together with the You are father. not together with your husband? Yes. Were you married? No. This is what I'm saying. Come. You need to be delivered, eh? If not, I'm seeing four children. You will add two more, and yet you are not married. I'm not, I hope you are not feeling bad. I hope you are not embarrassed. God reveals so that he can redeem, eh? You are not a bad woman. You are not an immoral woman. It's a spirit. You hear what I'm saying? Come, let me pray for you. Aye. The power of God is coming on one of you here. One of you standing here now. The anointing of the Holy Spirit is coming on one right now. It's not something you can resist. 
I'm this I'm seeing it in the spirit that the power of God is going to come upon one of you and when that happens then I'm going to prophesy to that one person right now is an anointing from heaven that is coming upon one of you here and the Lord is saying that he's taking away sickness from the midst of you taking away sickness my dear in the name of Jesus is it the same man that has the children yes huh? yes why doesn't he want to marry you he didn't pay for my dowry he didn't pay for your dowry yes go and tell him that I said he should pay for your dowry huh dowry is not building project he should pay for your dowry and give these children a chance please at this level it's no longer about their comfort the children need a father may God grant him grace and give him money to pay your dowry and be a good man in the name of Jesus Christ I'm seeing written in the air polygamy God is breaking that spirit now no 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 just please just keep quiet I'm ministering there is a spirit of polygamy everybody in that family you can't do with one man alone or one woman alone that anointing is locating people right now to break the spirit is a covenant it's not a desire coincidences continue to put themselves together to lead people to trouble right now that spirit please help them in the name of Jesus inside outside everywhere the spirit of polygamy is being broken right now the spirit of polygamy is being broken right now sir let me pray for you where are you coming from sir Port Harcourt, what do you do? Do business. You do business. But things are not going well. Yes, huh? If I don't pray for you, I'm seeing you in the court because of money, debt. Huh? I hope you're not embarrassed. You came here so that I pray for you. What are you trusting God for? I'm trusting God for breakthrough in my business. Breakthrough in your business. First, your. My wife, uh, I've listened to your tape for about seven days now. And the last dream she had, you came to pray for her. I she insisted that you come through the night today i will pray for you more than business breakthrough sir is your relationship with god do you understand please don't be embarrassed but your relationship with god in this kingdom we prosper as our souls prosper not at the detriment of our soul so that there's, there's too much spiritual distraction around your life i pray that god will cause your heart to love him more than money in the name of jesus and that in so doing he will bless you and lift you I decree and declare I don't know why all of you came but in the name of Jesus I declare that everything that is not of God leaves you right now where is this lady from come where are you from I'm from Nasara Ostage you are from where Nasara how many are you I'm from extended family we are many plenty. you are plenty yes. you don't know how many yes but oh. in my mother's side we are eight two have gone we are six now are you married no the man coming around your life I drive him from your life now and forever Amen. Amen. you hear what I'm saying yes, sir. the man that I'm seeing I drive him in the name of Jesus the son Amen. of the living God you will go back and you'll be surprised he will tell you there's no time he cannot call you he's busy just know that God drove him from your life to save you from trouble are you ready for a child now Tom you have to be careful huh I send him again in the name of Jesus Christ before he destroys your innocent life what do you do I learn salon. Huh? I'm learning salon work. You are, I'm not here. I'm learning salon work. Hairdressing. Yes, sir. I have to pray for you. Come. Huh? I place favor on your life. In the name of Jesus. Amen. May the Lord help you. In the name of Jesus Christ. We're going to pray for the sick shortly, but the Lord is showing me a very serious vision. I'm looking at people, but I'm not seeing a face. And this is not the first time I see these kinds of vision. The moment I see this kind of things is a sign that, you know, the devil has just tried to tarnish the glory of people. The Bible says to not let your good be evil spoken of. There, there is a way that you are good, but it's like people continue to misunderstand you. Right now, in the name of Jesus. Sakato I stretch my hands. I'm seeing an anointing coming on those people. That veil that covers your face. Always putting you in trouble. I tear off that veil now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Our time is gone. We have to be fast. 
Now, please listen very carefully. God is touching everyone, every single one under the sound of my voice. Three things will happen right now. Number one, make sure you are here with your prayer request. If you are not here with it, please pen down. It's an act of faith very quickly. What you're trusting God for, lift it up. Let the ushers have it. Number two, we're going to minister to the sick right now. We'll do it very, very fast. And then I'll pray on it and we'll prophesy open doors for everyone. We have to make this very, very fast. Are we together? While you are doing that, please be praying in the spirit. There are people here who are trusting God for themselves and their families. Please listen. Let's listen outside, inside. Let's listen to the instruction. Please. All those who are standing, trusting God for fruit of the womb, whether you are in overflow, one, two, three, I want to pray for you myself. Are we together? Particularly for those trusting God for the fruit of the womb. And, but then aside from that, um, overflow one, please listen, listen. From the start of overflow two, that means the end of CGC, and inside here, that's overflow two. Um, overflow three is from the end of CGC down to second equa. Okay, you are overflow 2B. Let's call it 2B. Are we together? Then the overflow from the beginning of this fence, down, right down there, we'll call you overflow 2C. Please listen. Then there's overflow 3. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. This is the main auditorium. This is overflow 1. This is overflow 2. Then from this place down to second equa is overflow 2B. From that same place down is overflow 2C. So that, so that you would know if you are trusting God, no matter what overflow for the fruit of the womb, I will pray for you. But then all who are in here, overflow 1, I mean overflow here, please you are trusting God for healing, come stand here. Overflow 1, come and stand in front of your projector stand. Overflow 2, stand in front of your projector stand overflow 2a please create a space for them there overflow 2a create a space for them there and then overflow 2c stand in front of your projector stand and then overflow 3 you can stand in um, in front of your projector stand those online connect by faith and then we'll pray we'll pray with you we're going to do this very fast we thank god there are many hands today and while they minister to you, I would like you to believe God for a miracle. You are a man of God. You are a ministry here. Open up your heart and connect. You are trusting God for the grace for signs, wonders. Make sure that you connect. The worship team will be leading us through powerful sessions of worship while we do that. And concurrently, while that is happening, please make sure you submit your prayer request. Everyone, make sure you pen down your prayer request. And then we are going to pray on it and let the God of heaven... Visit us right now in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Um, Ejimi and Promise and Bishop Manasseh. Ejimi and Promise and Bishop Manasseh will do overflow three. There are quite a number of people there. Overflow three. Um, Benga will do overflow two. Overflow two. Pastor Alpha. And Ima, you do overflow one. Um, overflow one. We need a way of reaching overflow. Kenny. Kenny will do overflow 2B. Overflow 2B. We'll do overflow 2B. And then Isaac. Isaac in media. You will do overflow 2C. Let's make it that way. Praise the Lord. Father, we stand under this corporate grace and we decree and declare in the name of Jesus that as we minister to everyone across, let your healing power touch, deliver, set free in the name of Jesus. Do this and be glorified even by the power of the Holy Spirit. Please, we'll do it very, very fast. And while you are seated, make sure you are agreeing, releasing your faith in the name of Jesus. Madam, you lift, lift your hands. You, this woman. No. The one wearing blue and white. Yes. Lift your hand. I'm seeing oil coming on your head. And the Lord is saying he's taking away reproach and he's lifting you. This is what I'm seeing. 
an anointing is coming on you right now and the Lord is saying he's taking away reproach and he's bringing an oil of gladness upon your life in the name of Jesus father let there be miracles signs wonders in the name of Jesus Christ amen Let's stretch your hands to the prayer request begin to pray in the spirit lord you are the god that answers prayers i decree and declare in the name of jesus pray over these requests is that these egyptians you see today you will see them no more forever there is a covenant of answered prayer in this place lift your voice and pray father i decree and i declare i prophesy i proclaim by the spirit of grace that this is a representation of the pain of people, a representation of their hunger. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, are you praying? Decree and declare that everything written here in the name of Jesus will become a testimony. Everything written here, we invoke the power of the Holy Ghost upon every request here supernatural deliveries terminations of delay open doors new spiritual dimensions in the name of jesus admissions graduations jobs marriages children restoration advancement promotion in the name that is above all names we decree and declare Make sure you are praying. Make your declaration. These that are brought before the God of all flesh will never, never, never return as a disappointment. I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit. Those online joining us from all over the world, connect in the name of Jesus. From America to Asia, the UK, Canada, everywhere, we decree and declare that your requests are turned into testimonies in the mighty name of jesus christ listen i want you to understand that this is not a ritual this is a mystery are we together now there are all kinds of testimonies that have come in. i can prophesy and there is so much i can be limited i cannot discern everybody's expectation but this is a representation of your hunger is a representation of your tears and let me tell you this please don't get familiar with this this is not some some spiritual thing just for the fun of it there is power in what we are doing it's guided by understanding is guided by an anointing and god has a covenant is protected by his jealousy in the name of jesus paul said for this cause i paul bow my knees before the father of our lord jesus christ that he may grant unto you in the name of Jesus, I declare upon you that the Egyptians you see today, that you will see them no more forever. In the name of Jesus, every request here that is a death sentence, cancer, HIV, and any kind of incurable disease, we turn it around right now in the name of Jesus. Every impossible situation represented here. May the God of wonders arise tonight in the name of Jesus and do wonders. By the power of the Holy Ghost. For those of you who have submitted these requests on behalf of your loved ones, I declare may the angel of God's presence. These angels that do not know time and distance. May they go to your various homes and to your loved ones and birth supernatural solutions in the name of Jesus Christ. We decree and declare that you remain above this challenge forever in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I declare over your life, we're entering the second half of the year. It says, revive thy work, O God, in the midst of the year. I decree and declare, every spiritual weariness, every prayerlessness, it dies right now in the name of Jesus. Passion for the things of the Spirit like never before. 
hunger for spiritual things in the name of Jesus I declare prayer fire like never before let it rest upon your life now I decree and declare an appetite for God and the things of God I declare you receive it right now I pray over your life every long-standing issue you have prayed you have fasted you have sought counsel it has refused to change in the name that is above all names I decree and declare by this time next month return with your testimony by this time next month return with your testimony please believe it don't just shout amen believe it I come against patterns you have seen it in others you saw it in your father you saw it in your loved ones you saw it in your siblings now it's beginning to happen by the blood of the eternal covenant I cancel every pattern now I cancel every pattern now it works for everybody until it gets to your turn then something happens you will see it but you never possess it I declare right now that spirit that makes you to see things and never step into it is caused by the God of heaven caused by the God of heaven everything that was given to you in the realm of the spirit already I declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead this month coming it must enter your hands I declare that it must enter your hands there are families where is the women that feed the men have you seen such families no matter how hard working the men are they never feed the family they get up in the morning and play draft from morning till night while the women go to fend it's an anomaly I declare by the Spirit of God I'm praying for the men now the grace for establishment and the grace to be satisfied early receive that anointing right now it says satisfy me early I'm saying it again everybody here who is a man and it looks like the devil wants you to depend on people for the rest of your life I decree and declare like Jacob Laban must let you go in the name of Jesus I pray for every Mordecai here you have been good to others you have been good to kings your records have been written but you have not been rewarded in this season by the Spirit of God we open a book of remembrance in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah anyone here called jobless by the God of heaven between now and the next three months like the ark of God in the house of Obed Edom I decree and declare jobs that will be consolations to your years of pain may my God give it to you every dying business hear the word of the Lord I don't care what has happened by the spirit that raised Christ from the dead I speak to you come back to life now come back to life now everyone who is in ministry here no matter what level there are dimensions I pray for you you will go back to your various churches fellowships and assemblies and a dimension of fire a dimension of insight you have never seen receive in the name of Jesus everyone here called barren by the God of heaven in the name of Jesus according to the time of life return with your children these are not empty prophecies believe them they are backed up by the jealousy of God they will come to pass in the name of Jesus 
I don't know where the helpers of your destiny are. But in the name of Jesus, every man who must arise in this season for your sake to favor you, wherever they are around this globe, by the spirit of grace, I call them to your life now. I call them to your life now. The Bible says that strangers shall feed your flock. It says your gates shall be open continually. It shall not be shut day nor night that you will receive the forces of the Gentiles. People you do not know, I compel them to be interested in your lifting. In the name of Jesus Christ. I prayed a prayer like this one time and one of us God just opened a door and a bank met him to sell a property for them worth 450 million naira listen it doesn't take time it doesn't take time there is the creative dimension of prophecy that can order things in your life every area of struggle I stand by the God of heaven who is called Ebenezer, the God of Jeshurun. In the name of Jesus, receive help from the Lord. I want to pray for people who have ideas and have projects, but it seems to never go out of the book. You have ideas, you have projects, it's just to connect you with somebody who has the interest nobody helps you on their own they are called by prophecy in the name of Jesus right now I connect your ideas to your helpers in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I forgot to pray for those who are in various institutions writing their exams I know that many people had started their exams some have written and the honest truth is that some of you have written nonsense you need the mercy of god in the name that is above all names much more than what you have written in the name of jesus may the mercy of god show up in your exam There is a dimension of finances that comes by prophecy. Please pay attention. Our time is gone, but I want to speak this into your life. There are people who are not very smart. The prophetic dimension is not a license to not be valuable. The prophetic dimension is a system of advantage to bridge tragedy while you learn. It's a system of God's mercy. It will be foolish to believe that wealth is only by principles. There are laws and there are irrefutable principles that make for the foundation. But there is the ordinance of prophecy. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, the God who has helped me by His grace, the God who has helped this ministry, I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit between now and the end of July may your finances turn around in a way that will surprise you may your finances turn around in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for those who are under any kind of project building project whatever it is the hand that started that project is the same hand that must finish that project in the name of Jesus Christ everyone here due for promotion but has been kept because of the wickedness and the sentiments of men go back into your next level in the mighty name of Jesus Christ finally I want to pray for you honor is the ability to discern to celebrate and to reward a man for his uniqueness it's not enough for your 
value to be discerned you must live a rewarded life you will be frustrated if you do not live a rewarded life i pray for you the eyes that can perceive and can discern your value i connect you to those eyes in the name of jesus any pit you have found yourself in i must pray this financially whatever it is you have found yourself in a situation where only god can bring you out may that god you believe in bring you out of it now in the name of jesus finally i want to prophesy again the grace for this year's prophetic word the Lord declared that it's a year of extraordinary fruitfulness. Every part of that prophecy that is yet to speak in your life, by the force of right words and by the power of the, no, the name that is above all names, I declare to you, may your life experience extraordinary fruitfulness. In the name of Jesus Christ may you return with testimonies some of you this night before you get to your homes your phones you will see text messages that are full of wonders in the name of Jesus Christ father we give you all the praise we bless you because you have honored this house you have made it a place of answers you have made it a place of strange testimonies. Let everything that you have done tonight by your spirit return as testimonies. Let it not just be a ceremony. In the name of Jesus, we declare by the spirit of the Christ, testimonies in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Now, very quickly, I will make an altar call and then we'll take a few very important announcements and we're done. Apologize, our time is gone. You are here in this place. Please, let's minimize movement, especially outside. You are here and you are saying, Apostle, I've not given my heart to the Lord Jesus Christ. I need to encounter his salvation and his mercy. Please listen. Or you are here, you are saying, Man of God, I've seen the wonders. I once gave my heart to the Lord. But as it is right now, I need mercy. I need grace. I need to start afresh. You are here inside overflow one two three and all the other annexes i want to give you five minutes you want to make it right with jesus wherever you are i want you to leave your seat very boldly and come and stand right here it'll be my joy to lead you to jesus christ don't wait for someone be the first i'll count one to five wherever you are please start running clear the way for them please outside one quickly quickly please if you're coming run quickly run to jesus two win that war today win that war today win that war today the bible says in the day that you hear his voice do not harden your heart as they did in the provocation in the wilderness three someone is still coming apostle i'm not sure if i'm born again or not join them very quickly join them very quickly i expect people to come from outside please clear the way for those coming from outside clear the way for those coming from outside overflow one two three if you're coming, don't be sluggish. Run very quickly. We're out of time. Run quickly. Run quickly. We're out of time. Apostle, I want to come, but I'm ashamed and afraid of my colleagues and contemporaries. Jesus said, if you are ashamed of me before men, I will be ashamed of you before my father. Come quickly. Come quickly. Come quickly. Come quickly. Give them a big God bless you whilst they come takes a lot of courage but win that war young and old run to jesus the bible says ye must be born again <laughs> hallelujah praise the lord i want to salute all of you thank you so much for coming to make this decision lift your right hand high to heaven and say this after me you're not reciting a poem this is from the depth of your heart jesus is here say after me lord jesus I believe in you that you are the son of God I have seen your wonders and I declare 
that I need you. This night, I declare that you are my Lord, you are my Savior, you are my King. I receive your life, I receive the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness. And I declare that I reign in life. I am a child of God. I'm changed forever. Amen. Keep your hands lifted. Jesus, I present to you the ones you died for. I thank you because when you hung on that cross, they were worth your blood. They were worth the tears. They were worth the death. I pray in the name of Jesus, according to scripture, your sins are forgiven. And the grace to walk in victory is released upon you right now in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare forever you go from glory to glory even by the Spirit of God everything that is not of God I come against it right now the grace to live victorious is released upon you from today you go forward ever and backward never in the name of Jesus Christ amen and amen I congratulate you I salute you very quickly everyone in concert I want you to follow the gentleman waving his hands and you have a few people just welcome you on our behalf. God bless you very quickly. Let's Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them. Because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from and then if you've got any testimony for us kindly share with us thank you for watching in the name of jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise i decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain